All right. And we are live. The last word with Lord Cognito and Ibantis special Friday night campfire. What's going on, E? Uh, it is after hours and we got an awesome guest in the house. So uh, we're going to talk about everything in the world of Destiny with a man who is a veteran of the game. Been around in this thing mm. for a very long time. But uh, we're going to see if we can make him blush. So it's back to you, sir. <laughs> Let's do it. Welcome to The Last Word, episode number 110. And it's another glorious Friday, Friday night. And we're back in front of the campfire for some more looter shooter discussion. I'm extremely excited about our special guests, so we're going to get right into it. I want to introduce a lord who is not only a pleasure to interact with in our Destiny community, but always provides a safe haven of chill vibes. Whether it be his sick Crucible gameplay clips or attention to detail within the lore, there is no question regarding his passion for the Destiny franchise. Introducing the creator and host of the Nems Plays YouTube and Twitch channels. The Edgelord, who always embraces the ways of the void, and my fellow warlock brethren, who always remains anti-meta. <laughs> Live from oh. Cali, and kind enough to make his debut at the campfire of the last word. My man, Lord Nem Plays. How you doing, sir? <laughs> What's going on, man? <laughs> What's going on, man? We got Bro, more that like was, royalty that in was here, man. More titles than I have in Destiny right now. And <laughs> kind of overwhelmed. <laughs> so, all right. We'd like to make you feel welcome, man. Welcome home. We got the after hours campfire, literally evening campfire. So it's actually the right yeah, time of day. Yeah, yeah sir, man. Sir, man. Appreciate you, did, you guys uh, working around my crazy schedule like we were talking about this before the show started we've been trying to get this to happen for so long yeah, yeah. Lord <laughs> time. Lord time. Lord yeah. Time, hey, glad we yeah, made it work yeah it's like we've we've chatted way too much to not make this happen so glad we yeah. glad oh, we got absolutely. it to work out so absolutely man so a lot of destiny been going on i've been i've been seeing so um mm -hmm. just enjoying the season so far how we feeling with arrivals how we feeling Honestly, a lot better than I did with Worthy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a low bar, I'll be honest. It's That's a low bar. bar. It's a low bar. Like, it's a low bar. Like, screen way down here in the grass. Like, mm. I, I, if I'm being realistic, I think within the first week of Season of Arrivals, I probably mm. played more than I played through, like, the Season of the Wor Worthy Max. entirety. Damn. Max. Um, Max. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, nice. like, don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to knock Season of yeah. the Worthy, mm -hmm. but I knew that I the big ticket item for that season was going to be Trials. Yeah, and yeah. That's not my demographic, so. I feel you. I feel you. I kind of mm -hmm. just sat, sat it out, played some mm -hmm. PvP with friends for the most part, and that was really it. Mm-hmm. No doubt, no doubt. Well, so I, let's, let's start. Oh, I'm sorry. Gonna, I was just going to say, I noticed you got a nice little... I can't l look at the title screen the same way anymore. Thanks to a nice yes. little shout out recently. So I, had to, yes. I wanted to start there because I can't even look at the game differently now from what you made me look at from the, mm -hmm. the, the music. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. explain what I'm talking about for those who don't know, may not know yeah. on Twitter. What what did you what revelation came to you recently? So during one of the runs of uh, the new dungeon prophecy, um, after the second encounter, which is the, the big cube room, uh, you can find the emissary in the wasteland and if you approach her she'll have different lines of dialogue either for you and for the people that are in your party they'll have they'll hear different things mm -hmm. but i got an interesting uh clip this past week where uh drifter and eris talk about mm -hmm. drifter asks her if uh if she ever sang a song to Shax. and she of course dismisses him she's like that dude it's like a stupid question come on really yeah. And it turns out that she didn't. So mm -hmm. when she realizes it, that he heard, he obviously that Shaq must, must have heard something. Mm -hmm. She repeats the hum and Drifter's like, yeah, that's the one. Mm -hmm. And it turns out that is a viral chant by Savathun. Mm -hmm. Now, here's where it gets, that, this is where it gets, it gets interesting. And this, <laughs> this is where it gets interesting. So... In the previous season, I want to say it was season season of dawn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you guys remember the Devil's Ruin. One of my uh, favorite mission. lore dialogue quests between three titans and my man Osiris. Continue. <laughs> Two titans. <laughs> well, then you're going to be familiar with the mm -hmm. fact that Shax sings a certain song. Yep. So when you go back and you listen to that, he is singing in a very specific hum, which is the same one that Eris talked about. Mm. So. Our boy Shaxx 
is under Ooh. some sort of influence by Ahamkara and mm. Savathun because the mm. skull that he has up up, up there that is an Ahamkara skull. Yes, yes, very deep revelation. Because yeah. um, yeah, continue. No, please go on. Then. Oh, continue. I was gonna say, but that particular song mm. has been in there much longer than than season of uh, of Dawn. Mm-hmm. Savathun's song has been there since Shadow Keep's launch because it's yes. the main menu theme. Yep. Ding, ding, ding. That was crazy. I was going through the article and just like the P of Eclipse you had, and then it's the menu screen. I was like, are you are you kidding me right now? Like that was mm-hmm. oh, that was so cool. Mm-hmm. What is it? <laughs> the moon's made of mm-hmm. cheese or whatever. I forget the lot the yeah. lyrics, like, but yep. just the tone is consistent all throughout those. I'm going, mm-hmm. if it if like and it honestly, Bungie's good about the long game. So mm-hmm. if you're sitting there looking at the title screen, I'm like, they planned this crap for a year. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> of course they did. I was like, they got they got three more years planned out, but just the planting that con, seed, dude. man. Yeah. Big long con, seriously. What, so. You know what's funny because like, I, so I was playing with Shiv during that dungeon, and uh, when I heard that particular line, I'm like, I know, I've heard that somewhere. Yep. And I started going back. I went all the way back to like taking King soundtracks and stuff oh, like man. that because I'm like, I'm I'm like, I know I've heard that. Where the hell have I heard that hum? And uh, I started going through like some of the more like recent events. I'm like, wait a minute, Shadow, hold up, Shadow Keep. Let's go. It started like I I saw the the Osiris one first, right? Mm. And then I'm like, okay, it's definitely that. But I know I've heard that. There, that's a that's a song somewhere. Mm. And I brought up the uh, the the soundtrack, and I the, for, sure enough, the first one's the Shadow Keep. It's it's there. It's boom, right in your face. The viral chant that you cannot unhear. Mm-hmm. It's there. Dude, it was, it's, it's amazing. And, and again, you know, while I try to tell people, you know, actually me and Paul had actually had gotten into it about the uh, Devil's Ruin quest when it first came out. Because um, obviously on LordsOfGamer.net, he had an article first. And, you know, kind of, I don't say trashing it, but just like, eh, you know, it's average, whatever. And for me, I had made an article like, yo, why I love it. And I said, because I love the dialogue between characters. We don't get enough of that, you mm-hmm. know, to see how they would interact. Obviously, Saint's been gone a long time and stuff like that. So then Paul hit me back. He's like, you know what? You got it right. I see where you're coming from. Because I because a lot of people were upset at that question. Remember, they were like, oh, the gun was given away so easy. Mm-hmm. And I said, you guys are missing the point. It's about the Lord. It's about these conversations. And at the end, Saint had, uh, remember, he uh, Shaq's old the bet. To sing, yeah. the bet was to sing the song, and at first we just we just thought it was goofy, right? We just like, oh, it's some right. goofy, yep. yeah, it's some goofy thing he's got to do. We all laughed at Shax for jumping out of character. Is the you know the normal tough guy Titan to have to sing right. the song? So okay, boom. And then now again, I do prophecy this weekend. This all ties into me because I literally did prophecy. Shout out to Josh Red, whose name I got to clear because he we definitely got the uh, the prophecy dungeon done. I was calling him out, but yeah, uh, he, he's 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 forgiven. So. Um, but anyway, so we got we got it done, and I was in that part in the desert, and I remember, and I'm just like, holy! And then you see that conversation between Eris and the Drifter, and she's like, "Dark relics are awakening amongst the whole system that mm. Savathun is using." And I also heard some stuff. I, I, I shout the Vife. It's one of the lore pieces, not specifically where, but basically it was to the effect like, um, he's been targeted. Shax has been targeted by Savathun. And, and the vibe is that, you know, he still has some issues. There's some darkness in him. Like there's some things going on with him. So she's selecting certain targets. And I, I'm also curious about this in conjunction with all the eyes that we're seeing on all the planets. You know, we yeah. still don't know. I'm assuming those are like her watching in using those, you know. So it, it, it's it's cool, man. I, I like where this is going. I love storytelling like this, subtle clues. It, it's fun, man. <laughs> Have you noticed the placements of the eyes though? Yes. Did you, I noticed one's on Mercury, right? In that lost sector. And uh, mm. what you call it? Uh, it seems like every planet that seems to be going is a... Uh, oh, yeah. It's, it's, it's an eye there. Mm-hmm. I noticed that. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> I'm, I'm very intrigued how they're going mm-hmm. to do that lore-wise. How, how they're, they're going to remove those... Yeah. Yeah, how they're going to remove mm-hmm. those planets. Because... So, I, I haven't looked into it too, too much. Because I tend to, like, avoid... Um, spoilers now that I kind of took a step back from like the creating and the news and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But I have heard that there is a pretty, uh, 
mm-hmm. pretty interesting quest down the lo- down the line that in- involves uh involves all those planets. Yeah, we had Jarvan yeah. a couple weeks yeah. ago, mm-hmm. and we talked briefly about just the idea of I'm gonna say one word related to it, and this isn't that much of a spoiler, hopefully. But if you want to avoid it, shut your ears for like five seconds. The word mm-hmm. evacuation. Mm-hmm. Yes, and that's the big one that everybody mm-hmm. seems to wonder because you have you know, NPCs on these planets that if the planet's going away, hopefully there's some lore as to how these NPCs hopefully survive whatever happens to these planets. Yeah. Maybe they mm-hmm. maybe they bail, maybe they don't. And then mm-hmm. you've got, uh, finally, at least we actually saw the update today in game, we are going to tighten with the contact with public event next week. I was yes. waiting on that one because yeah. it's a 15-week season, which is long, generally, even for them. But if it was going to be three weeks, because we've got, Io, Titan, still got to get through Mars, Mercury, and the Leviathan. Now, the Leviathan may just, like, drive away. I don't know what's going to happen there. Um, still curious how that one's going to handle, because that's yeah. its thing in itself. But right. we have four planets, and it was like, if it's four weeks per, it'll fit, I guess, still. Right. So I was curious right. how they were going to time it, and we know Titan's coming. But we mm-hmm. haven't seen another pyramid ship come on yet, so I can't wait to see what the one on Titan from the trailer just staring square at it looks really, really mm. cool. That looks intimidating, dude. Yes. It's just yes. just like staring right here down the barrel of a gun, basically. <laughs> it's kind yeah. of, it's, yeah, it's, intimidating is the right word because it's huge mm. in that I'm skybox. I'm curious whether the pyramid that's currently on Io itself, if that one is going to move to Titan or if it's another one that is going to enter the atmosphere. That's what I'm hoping. What would you prefer? Titan. I would prefer having another one come in because yeah. I mean we saw the fleet that was basically being teased all throughout season oh, yeah, of the like worthy. Fifty. There's somewhere. a lot of ships. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. I ended there's up a lot of ships. Like fifty plus by the yes. time we were all done. Fifty I want, plus. I want ships. them pulling up. I want them pulling up on every planet. It was, it was, yeah, uh, that's what I want. <laughs> yeah, I was like, there was fifty. I think you guys can find four to park around here. So. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Yes, yes. That's a lot of ships, dude. A lot of ships. Exa, yeah. uh, Stark is asking, have you talked about wanting to live on the pyramid yet? <laughs> is this a thing, Nam? Should we know about that? Oh, yeah, it's a thing. Look at his face. It's a thing. It's a thing. Stark, you know you would too, so shut up. <laughs> Please explain, because is it just the fact that mm. it is a triangle, so edges are everywhere, or... Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> we going down a rabbit hole. I, Let's I, go. I, I'm just going to shake my fist at Pino because he's the one who started that. Shout out to Pino. Um, so what's the science behind these pyramid living, man? What's, what's going on? Break it down. So I've always had like this mm. one of an alliance system between Destiny and we kind of got a tease of it with, with se- the season of the Drifter with the alliance. Yes. The alliance quest. Mm. So um, the fact that we now are kind of more leaning towards using that particular power, it would be cool to see almost like a split between the Vanguard, you know, choosing to like stay away from it. And then guardians who are actually, like, yo, that's dope. Hand it over. <laughs> so, you know, yep, I yep. fall into that particular side. <laughs> so, you know, void. it'd be cool Let's to go. like, if, you know, if there was ever like a split like that to have a hub, like a social hub within like one of those pyramids. I mean, we have one on the moon, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you know? So it is interesting, man. I mean, uh, yeah, it is. Get, yeah, another get question it. from the audience. Does the pyramid ship have a food court? <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> they out of control right now. <laughs> I got, I got to throw, I got, we got Nim's crew in chat. We got to, we got to spread some love uh, out there. So. Love. I would, I would hope so. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Food Would court you? of Oryx, yo, I'm done. Fabrico, yo, <laughs> you stupid. <laughs> Bro, that was in the dreadnought. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no doubt. <laughs> yeah, you got uh, Vex milk is your beverage of choice. So. Taking butter. Oh, yeah. All those things are coming out there. So <laughs> chat's getting a little weird. You guys are uh, killing me right lit. now. Chat Time to heckle lit. them. Yes. <laughs> wow, toxic. <laughs> <laughs> So speaking of which, man, the question I had to ask for you just was like, oh, from the beginning, like, why Destiny? Like, why? We always ch- tend to ask a lot of the guests, like, what was the attraction that make you say, yo, I'm in love with this game. I want to commit to this game. Fun fact, there wasn't initially. Mm, me too. I mean, you share this. Wow. Interesting. Yeah. Break um, it down. So uh, my good buddy, uh, Ashen, him and I, we used to work together, and he's a big bungee guy. Uh, he 
loved all the Halos and he grew up with them. And I believe his dad actually also edited, I think, Halo 2's documentaries or something. Oh, nice. So it, it was like a big deal for him. Mm-hmm. Um, so he was looking forward towards Destiny. And mm-hmm. at the time, pretty much the, the game that I played, like mm-hmm. almost as much as I play Destiny now, was used to be Call of Duty. Uh, so I come from like, you know, like Modern Warfare 2. Modern Warfare, oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's and gold, like, golden era right there. I mm-hmm. spent some ungodly amount of time in Black Ops 1 and 2. Oh yeah. Um, and when, you know, he was like super into the game. And the night that the game launched, um, I, I'll, I'm never going to forget this, this story because it was just kind of like, it was how it started. Um, I was clocking into work and he was clocking out. And he was like, what are you doing after work? Um, I'm like, probably just, just going to go home and chill. And he's like, all right, well, you're not anymore. <laughs> you're going you're, you're to come with me. Uh, GameStop is doing the midnight release for Destiny mm-hmm. 1. Mm-hmm. They're going to have food. Then they're going to have like handouts and stuff like that so we can hang out there. And I was like, all right, cool. Mm-hmm. I had played the beta, right. but I, I wasn't. I, it was like, all right, it was fun. Mm-hmm. But it was, it, to me, it was just another shooter. I was right. like, I, I don't know if I want to commit to like another shooter, especially one with like abilities and stuff like that. I was just kind of like, it's, it, it was fun, but it wasn't really like my thing. Mm-hmm. But that same, that same night we were in line, um, because he got like the, he got the big edition and mm-hmm. he was just like looking at me as like people they're taking in and he's like, no, you got to get it. I was yeah, like, pressure. yeah. I was like, I don't, I don't. I don't want to. He's like, I don't buddy. Want to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's like, buddy, I I need I need someone to play with. Play with. And I was like, yeah, no. all right, all right, uh-huh. I'll 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 get it. So uh-huh. we go in. I pay for the base edition, and then he was like, get the season pass. Oh my god, that's how it starts. Oh, there you yep, go. yep, yep. That's got, how it starts. Got the, and I was like, I don't even know if I'm gonna like the main game. You want me to buy the season pass? And he's like, get it. I'm like, all right, fine. I got it. Mm-hmm. And the rest was history, dude. Like I got mm. hooked, mm. hooked immediately. Mm. Break it so, down. Wow. So what yeah, was man. it? It was just the aesthetic, the gate gunplay. What? What specific? Give me some moments that you're like, yo. This so, is this is it. It was definitely the. It was the a lot of the original RPG elements that are not unfortunately they're not in the game anymore. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. <laughs> they've been reduced those, to those skill, those skill trees that we all miss. Yeah, those yeah. skill trees. The I, skill tree. I, I am a sucker for being able to customize a character. Oh, we lost him because he, he said his connection. Yep. Right, come back. All right, he everybody. Did, he did warn us. Warn us, yep. guys. He's, he's coming. We were prepared for this. He's back. You're back. You're, back. You're good. Are we good? You're back in focus, baby. Good. All right. Good. Good. All right. So you're all good. Yeah. No. So it's literally just my internet. You're good. So um, skill tree, you continue. Skill tree, yeah. So mm. I love having the ability to customize whenever, wherever, and that's something that the first one gave us. Mm. You know that that was pretty liberating. Mm. Um, fun fact: I started off as a hunter. So did Ooh. I. Actually, that was. Oh, yeah. you're telling the truth now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I always said, I love oh. when you put words in my mouth. I started as a hunter, taken oh. king. It's been Titan since. Yeah. When did you go warlock? So what's that's the question. When did you go warlock? So I actually, so I I started off with a hunter, and I remember I didn't even get to like level twenty as the hunter. Then I I remember going into like the warlock because I really I really liked seeing my my buddy Ashen cuz he was he's been a warlock since the beginning mm-hmm. he he used to be able to like just fly around and like get onto the, like different like spaces that I would have trouble getting on yeah um so I was like all right fuck it I'm I'm starting a warlock um and we made it 20 and... minutes it's fine <laughs> oh, no you're good you're good okay <laughs> so um so yeah, I created the warlock, and once I started getting like the Void Walker stuff, I was like, "Ooh, that's mm. cool!" Because like you're, you know, if you remember being able to customize it, and back then you could use Bloom and Annihilation in conjunction. Yes. And now it's kind of separated. So yes, um, I was like, "Holy crap, that's that's cool!" And then I saw that like the blank was a thing. Yes. So little fun fact about me: I mm. I love X Men. Mm. Ah, like I'm, 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 a, nice. I'm a big Marvel guy. 
Nice, same here. Nice. Yeah, and <laughs> Nightcrawler is one of my favorite X Men. Oh, the there we go. The yeah. teleport. Oh, I'm you're seeing, I'm seeing the, I'm seeing the, for life. the background hey. makes a lot more sense yeah, now. If you guys are listening to this in audio, life. yeah, this man is a Nova <laughs> Warp King. So yes. yes, yeah. So Nightcrawler is like one of my favorite characters, and. Mm. Uh, so if you guys seen the X2 movie, you know, where yep. he teleports all over the place, Fire. Um, Fire. you know, back in, in D1, I was like, oh, crap, I can like blink and, you know, do stuff like that. So mm-hmm. I kind of I kind of got hooked then and I did play around with like other characters and I mm-hmm. maintained all three, mm-hmm. but I was always better off with my warlock. Um, Ooh, that's what I want to hear. That's what yeah, I want to hear. And, it, it, and it's been kind of like a progression as from like Destiny 1 to Destiny mm-hmm. 2 where I more embraced that warlock aspect, and mm-hmm. then they introduced Nova Warp. Oh, and that 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 Bro. was that was it. Why you did that to that hunter <laughs> in one of them clips you did? He was evil. <laughs> Yo, he did. If y'all didn't see what this man did, it was so disrespectful. Because I guess somebody must have pissed you off. And the hunter, I forgot what bat was it. Twi- I think it was Twilight That's Gap. Twilight Gap. And I've never, I didn't even know what you did was possible. Like you were out in an area where you're not supposed to be, where the map tells you get back into the game. And you sitting there teleporting in Nova Warp Super. He's shooting you. Then you get over to him and then it's like, blue. I said, this is so disrespectful. I love it. I love it. He, he had been teabagging me the entire wow. match. With Mountaintop and Recluse. Oh, oh God. I hate those people. And I had had it. <laughs> <laughs> that is yes. that will forever be my favorite play. Class. Did you hit him with the shoulder lead? Why you had to hit him with the shoulder lead? Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. You, gotta, you gotta hit him with that coincidence, dude. <laughs> yes, you hit him with the oh, coincidence. I said, God. damn. <laughs> Nems did that boy dirty. <laughs> Bro, that oh, was my, amazing. It's, again, that's like my favorite play I think that I've ever made. Yes, it's still you on my Twitter clip. if anybody's curious. Yeah, it's on his it, Twitter. But. Please, Crystal, if you yeah, it's on his Twitter, you gotta go see it. It is Definitely. the funniest. The map is Twilight Gap. He's in Nova Warp Super. I, I forgot what the comment you made. It was hilarious, man. Oh, I love uh, it. It was how to disrespect a Spectral Blades hunter that had been yes. teabagging you all game. Yes. <laughs> Check that. Yo, get the link. Put the link in the chat I'll put for the, the people. Link put the link in the chat. For I don't the know if he'll be able to, actually. To yeah. see this. Yo, the Twitter link. The Twitter link might work. But that is. clip actually got on uh, Kotaku's highlight reel. Nice. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Dude, that was fire. It was fire, man. That's what's up. So you've been going there. And then as far as like the uh, content creation, like mm-hmm. what got you into wanting to be a, a content creator? Um, Broman and Gathalion originally. Mm-hmm. Um, I used to like tune into Broman stream. Broman was the first one that I started watching. And it was more, th- I got started more towards with streaming. Mm-hmm. Um. I started watching Broman and then started watching Cathalion and I was like, oh, you know, this streaming thing looks pretty fun. So mm-hmm. uh, I got myself the the PlayStation camera and kind of started off like that. Um, it wasn't until Rise of Iron that picked up steam a little okay. bit. Um, at the time, it was towards the end of Rise of Iron before Age of Triumph Okay. Um, that... I remember sending an email to the, at that time, uh, brand manager for Planet Destiny. Oh, yeah. And I was like, hey, you know, I know it's slow, um, but, you know, I have video equipment. I have streaming gear, a decent microphone. Mm-hmm. If you guys are ever looking for another creator or streamer, mm-hmm. like, I'd be super down to, to help. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Um and sure enough, within a couple of weeks, we uh, we started talking and they got me on to Planet Destiny's uh stream team. Nice. Um, so that's how I kind of got that started. That's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah. So as far as like um, what what do you prefer the most? Like as far as kind of, like you prefer streaming? I know schedule wise mm-hmm. sometimes it's tough with your, with your job or like right. yeah. What what are aspects of content creation you enjoy the most? Man, there's there's ups to both of them and there's downs mm-hmm. to both of them um mm-hmm. i i love the interactions with streaming like that's yeah. that's a given you know mm-hmm. being able to talk to people and it to me i've always treated my streams as more as just a virtual couch for yes. you know just friends mm-hmm. to hang out and talk and and uh you know just have a good time mm-hmm. um but the informative side that mm-hmm. youtube creation has that's intense man like that takes some serious dedication that like 
once I started doing that for PD, um, I was able to see it behind the curtain and like, holy shit, it's, it's mm. tough. It's fun. It's fun, but it's really, really hard because a lot of people don't really consider that a 10 minute video can take someone about six to seven hours to do. Yeah. Thanks. Cause you gotta, you know, at least from, from like a review perspective oh, or, oh, you know, you probably, longer. you have to play around with different perks. You have to make sure that you know what you're talking about when it comes to using the perks in the mm -hmm. sandbox, mm -hmm. in PVE, in PVP, mm -hmm. what works with what, what weapons, you know, like help it shine, what it doesn't. Preach. And be, you know, it just, the process is insane. Mm -hmm. It's, it's in insane and then figuring out you know writing the script and then doing the the voiceover recording the editing of the voice getting all the clips together putting it together oh, it's yeah. an insane process that takes so so long mm -hmm. and then the moment it hits the internet some dude's like oh well <laughs> mtash did it better <laughs> <laughs> Oh, right. I mean, yeah, it doesn't take long for you to be like, oh, thanks for taking me straight out at the knees. Perfect. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it doesn't take here. long at all. Yeah, he, he, here's the bad. Just finish it off, please. Yeah. Bro, I have so, so much respect. Yeah, continue. No, continue. Yeah, no. So, mm -hmm. like, that's that's one of the aspects that, like, once I, I got into it, I was like, you just learn a new level of respect for the people that do this on a daily basis. Yes. You know, so... No, it's, it, it, you're absolutely right. That's why I got so much respect for you guys, because I know I can't do it. <laughs> so for yeah. me, you know, and I see the amount of, you know, hours that he puts in and, and you guys put in. And, and, and like you said, it's just just a 10 minute or a short clip. There's so much work involved behind it that most yeah. people don't understand. And I definitely can resonate with the part about, you know, the here come, you know, Captain Comment. In your section, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? To, to say whatever <laughs> he want to say. Yeah, yeah, you, know, is, you know, everybody oh, no, got that Captain beautiful. Comment dude. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that want to come in there and rip something and he ain't do he ain't do a bit of video editing in his life, but here he come, you know? And and that's why I have so much respect. <laughs> everybody said Captain <laughs> Comment. And it, that's how I feel about them dudes. I'm it's sorry. No, he it's, knows it's, I go after the Captain so, Comments. I don't know, so, I go after them. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I mean, you spend, I mean, mm -hmm. take any video like, I used to do solo nightfall runs and that mm -hmm. was when you would get kicked to orbit. So it's like, it took long oh. enough just to practice through it, get right. a good run, get a feel of a comfort, understand what to explain. And I would do live commentary on mine, which is a different ball of wax versus a voiceover, which is still its own thing. Mm -hmm. Cause like doing a good voiceover mm -hmm. is like quality in itself. But either way mm -hmm. you're like, it's so tough. It, yeah. It's like, it's, and then you'll get some that are like, Hey, thanks for the guide. And then it doesn't matter. It's, the first, as soon as you start getting just enough traction, you're like, hey, then you start getting the consistent one or two down votes on everybody. And you're like, you son of a, like, <laughs> why? Why? It's like, and I swear there's a couple of people that just follow, and it's not even just me. It's like anybody. Mm -hmm. It's like, they just follow you just to downvote you. And you're like, yeah, just to hate. Mm -hmm. I was like, the amount of effort that goes into this just to literally, like, one of the first mm -hmm. ones, oh, new video, downvote. And it's just like, yeah. what's the point? <laughs> no, yeah. but I like them dudes because th this is why I like Like, that person <clears throat> wastes his time out of his day. <laughs> Like he, he still giving me a view, but you know, yeah, he's here to come hate. Like I like that dude. Like you, you set your whole day towards this. Like it's funny to me. I think it's hilarious. But it's like, shout yo, bro, thank you for uh, thinking about me uh, the yeah. moment I live life. So uh, like, yeah, that, appreciate. It. Thanks free. for the metric, bud. Yeah, exactly. That's <laughs> like free you had a on that was really fast. I appreciate that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, it's but it's yeah. crazy tough. Like I remember <laughs> when not so it's you. That's definitely like one of the main aspects to consider when it comes to content creation. But one thing, another thing that like you also have to, to like realize is competition, yeah. especially in a saturated field Facts. right now, Good point. um, you know, working with like, with planet destiny for, for the time that I was actively doing stuff with them, mm -hmm. um, you know, you had to see you have your reaction time with topics that come out have to be ungodly fast because you have you have i don't even think this he's human but you have houndish oh yeah oh, that the beast. dude like half an hour after something is released the dude has the information out there beast. again 
fairly certain he's not a human. Fairly certain he's just straight <laughs> up a, like a living like, like him and computer. esoteric. Yeah. I don't believe those are human. Those are androids. Those are androids yeah. living amongst us. Hundred <laughs> percent. Like you have to be on top of it. Um, and Salute, hell, this one episode. of the times that. I remember like really, really feeling this was when Whisper of the Worm first came out because mm. I was in charge of covering that guide and showing, you know, basically how to get around it and beat the encounter and, and all that stuff. So I stayed, I like I was on that for about 12 hours mm. trying to get that all like on day one, just working on everything for that video to get it up wow. the following day. Wow. Um, and it, it was, it's intense, dude. It's yeah. really intense. No, you made a good point. And that's the thing, people, again, people don't realize, it, you said a perfect sentence, which is, it is a saturated field, right? Mm -hmm. So th there is things that you have to do to separate yourself from others, as well as if you do have some information that's common, it's got to be kind of first, right? Because it's like, exactly. that's where people are rushing. So I, again, I got so much respect for you guys because that's not easy. That's not it's easy. Not. And it's nothing more demoralizing than, than, you know, doing all this work and then, you know, every, you know, it's already out there or, you know, whatever, or the information mm -hmm. is incorrect and you got to go back, you know, that kind of thing. So definitely got a huge respect, man, for you in reference yeah. to that and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, man, I, want, I wanted to prick your brain on that. And then uh, last question I got for you personally before I get yeah. back to eat was um, you are considered like, a, I consider you like the anti-meta guy. Right. You will find things and you will figure out a way to make this work in the current sandbox when everybody else is shifted towards, you know, 600 autos. And, you know, <laughs> but here you are with the Graviton lens and, you know, and you're out there and I'm loving it. So, like, I actually share that, but I want to know why you do it. Why, why do you feel the need to kind of go against the matter? So largely and mm -hmm. honestly, because mm -hmm. If you put a meta weapon in my hands, it's just garbage. <laughs> like, I feel that you way can't about use it the way they, like, I've never been good I feel that way about that. Mountaintop. Like, I can't use really? it the way these guys yeah. use it. Huh. Not, not in PvP. In PvE, yes. But PvP, I'm garbage with it. But continue. Look, bring, bring it down. Yeah. No, no, you're good. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I just can't. Um, <laughs> I, uh, You give me... I have what is considered to be like a really, really, really good spare rations that i got mm -hmm. way back in season of the drifter mm -hmm. uh and it's been metas for a really long time and mm -hmm. i probably have killed like <laughs> maybe like two people with it <laughs> <laughs> and uh it's just i don't know man you if you you give mind benders to someone out there they will somehow kill you mm -hmm. at like 10 meters but if you give me that same exact mind benders they just <laughs> killed me with i will somehow shoot blanks at like five feet away <laughs> oh i'm it just it I, doesn't work for me the one of mine there was a point where i remember everybody wouldn't shut up about trust mm. and there was a point where mm. that was pretty popular i am i cannot stand that gun Yo, like and it's a lot stuff. of win 80s too but it was yeah. just like 180 hand cannons and me don't miss and people like mm -hmm. oh trust i got a good trust roll i'm like i can't stand it i will use anything but that <laughs> anything but that had a question from chat with the regards to tractor cannon. Please clarify your thoughts on said weapon. Uh, no, uh -oh. please, I know what this uh -oh. was. It crit buff. Uh, I think or shiv. I couldn't remember. Mm -hmm. One it of sounds two. like a crit. Probably it sounds like a crit buff question. Mm -hmm. uh, that is that was... like your Achilles heel or something? No. So Break he's. Well, this is probably when we were talking about editing. Um, mm -hmm. that is like one of I and I can confidently 100% tell you that that is like the worst video I've ever made. 100%. <laughs> Why so? Um, Why is that like the worst video? That's a because, weird way to phrase it. So at that time, it was still a lot of pressure of making stuff for Planet Destiny right. um, because I kind of climbed up the ladder when it comes to like the roles that I had in PD. You know, I started off as a streamer, then I was in the podcast a couple of times and eventually became kind of like a permanent member of the podcast. Mm -hmm. And then from the podcast, I started doing the YouTube stuff. So I kind of mm -hmm. like did a little bit of everything with that. So yeah. the first couple of videos that I did for PD, uh, for the YouTube section, mm -hmm. it was terrifying because Planet Destiny at the time, um, you know, it was just kind of fresh off the heels of the right. DCP crew leaving. So mm -hmm. that was very big shoes to fill yeah, right. um especially because you have people like holtzman and teft and Pryor. oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah 
so the pressure was was big and that mm -hmm. that video if you go look for it it will show it mm -hmm. <laughs> um the just so the like the voice narration in that was just probably like the worst one that i had ever done and i remember emailing ryan mm -hmm. after like it went up i'm like dude i hate it mm -hmm. can i redo it and he's like it's it's already up it's it's fine just mm -hmm. leave it be but yeah no dude it's so bad <laughs> it's so bad no, i mean we're, we're all our own worst critic we i mean i can only I have no, never gone back bad. to no, <laughs> but it was back. like I've got mine too, and it's like I can't tell you how many times I'll go through and either redo it or. But I was like, I don't want to go back and look at some of my old stuff. I kind of scared what that would be like. So yeah. was mm -hmm. that your one of your first? You were saying when you went to YouTube, it was one of the very earlier ones. Yeah, right. So I was like that. I mean, thousand stupid videos later of mine as well. Believe me, my first ones are probably worse. I guarantee <laughs> you, because I didn't even write a script. So it's probably <laughs> a lot of rambling at first. I can only imagine. <laughs> I know. Um, I tried doing the non-script thing very early mm -hmm. on, too. And I, just, I, I came to the realization that I just cannot keep a coherent thought without a proper script. Right. So that's when I was like, all right, well, that doesn't work for me. So I, I, I need yeah. some sort of, like, organization. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's all part of your journey. I think it's yeah. part of, you know, finding your place, what makes you comfortable. Obviously, I don't do videos. I do podcasts a lot. And for me, it's like a combination of both. Like some things I like to fall within the script and a lot of things I like to kind of like freestyle with. But it's that comfort zone, you know what I'm saying? And you made a good point. I mean, look, I've followed Pilot's Planet Destiny for years, you know what I'm saying? Even with the original crew, then with you mm -hmm. guys and so on and so forth. So I can only imagine, you know, it's like, hey, you're just getting there. You know, the old regime left. You're the new regime. And that's a lot of pressure. Like they, they, we can't understate that. And, you know, I got respect for all those guys that are now you know, over the DCP line. DCP. I can't even imagine, you know what I'm saying? Being over there and I'm like, all right, I'm next in line. Like, you know, it's, it's tough. You know what I'm saying? But it's I, tough. It's, okay. I remember the, the first stream that I did on the, mm -hmm. under the planet destiny channel. Mm -hmm. Um, Jesus, the chat oh, was like, so who is, who, who are you? Oh, so <laughs> I mean, that's, so yeah, you're like taken over, which it's, is normal, you know, like yeah. it, it's normal, but it, that just kind of like builds on onto like that pressure is like, holy shit, it, it, it hits mm -hmm. with that almost like imposter syndrome. Yes. Where you're like, dude, like shit, do I like, I belong here? Like, mm -hmm. you know, so I mean, mm -hmm. over time, it's def it's definitely things that it takes mm -hmm. thick skin. Yes. Oh, it this takes, whole. Big very, time. Very, very thick very skin. Very thick and skin. Not, not to let, not let stuff like that. Mm -hmm. uh, if my screen moves, just let me know. No, you're um, good. Mm -hmm. yeah. To like not let that stuff get to you. And I mean, over time, like I work retail. Right. You know, you develop. Oh, you get to you, know, you, you, yeah, yeah. you get to develop you, thick skin. You, you're good. Yeah, like, you develop it there. So uh, it, it was it was a little bit easier coming in but it was it still hits you like at in you know in certain times oh, but yeah, absolutely absolutely it's funny now though because mm -hmm. once i stopped doing not funny but like mm -hmm. it's wild mm -hmm. um when i stopped doing the planet destiny podcast just because mm -hmm. there's not just not enough time i have to work every other saturday so i just kind of need me time on the weekends yeah absolutely. um i would pop in into the podcast every now and then and like i there was a couple of people that were we had this sorry we had this mm -hmm. meme or there was this meme in the in the planet that's in a chat where it was like where's tefty after oh, tefty left no yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so now after like a couple of years of me doing that mm -hmm. i saw that trend but like with me and there were with, some people like mm -hmm. don't get me wrong it, it came from an interesting and kind of nice place mm -hmm. but some someone in in the chat had said something along the lines. I was like, "Wow, Nem really carried this podcast," and I was just like, mm. Mm. "I mean, I appreciate it, but that's kind of dickish to say yeah. to, like, to, to the new generation, exactly. to the new people, so, yeah. so you could relate, yeah, absolutely." So absolutely. you see that, yeah, it's crazy when when you get mm -hmm. that different perspective of like now new people are seeing new different faces, and yep. you know they were kind of used to seeing familiar yeah. uh, faces. So no, it's speaking, weird, man. Creation say, speak is a trip. Yes. Speaking of Planet Destiny, we're going to have Moon here in a few couple weeks as well coming on. Nice. So, oh, nice. Yeah. So, yeah. looking forward to that one. But, uh, man, sounds like you have been through quite the paces of just about everything in this community. Mm -hmm. But final piece is what made you want to turn into kind of one of the one of the really kind of stellar Destiny photographers? I am a sucker 
but like even like IRL uh, in real life, like I love taking pictures. I like I'm a sucker for taking like um f- like flora and fauna pictures, like just flowers and stuff like that. I love doing that, and my Instagram like kind of reflects that here and there. Um, but it's the artists at Bungie are like god tier, mm, you know. Yeah, you Preach. know they're they're Preach. they're insane. Woo. Um, and I feel like. A lot of people with, that play the game often seem to miss a lot of those details. Yes. Um, so I love to be able to like go into the game and just capture those particular details that people may not see or they, they just miss and stuff like that. And a lot of people have been receptive to, to it. That's why I, I have a, uh, a public folder on my on my Twitter where there's a collection of just a lot of different screenshots and stuff like that uh that you can just go in there and um and download like if you you know for your stream or your podcast whatever you can just go in there get what you want i tend to update it like every new season uh with new stuff i haven't Mm -hmm. yet for season of arrivals um Mm -hmm. but uh it's it's pretty it's pretty great to be able to like appreciate stuff like that i remember one of the first pictures that i had uploaded to twitter Mm-hmm. Um, that like got a lot of traction. Mm-hmm. It was something so small, but it's just it's the things that you miss. It was mm. the reload animation of malfeasance. Mm. So when you open up the malfeasance and the cartridge comes out, right? That's fully rendered and it's fully detailed. And the mm-hmm. actual bullets of malfeasance mm-hmm. look like these tiny little needle darts yes. that fit into the gun. And they're, yes. you know, they, they have like this take and glow to them. Mm-hmm. And that shit is cool. And you don't yeah. get to see that. Yeah. You if know? you're just playing along, not paying attention to the, to the animation, you're like, oh, oh damn. And it's, it's just the thing. And it's like, it's so quick. Like it's, it's mm-hmm. so easy to miss because you're into like the heat of the game. Yep. So, um, you know, it's just small things like that. And then just taking like, you know, scenic pictures or pictures of guardians, which I'm getting people asking me, uh, you know, to take pictures of them for the, uh, for the, the bungee yeah. fashion thing. Fashion. Yeah. yeah. I've had a couple of people ask me, you know, I was like, Hey, can you take a picture of my guardian? I like the way you do it. So, That's what's up. um, yeah, it's, it's cool. It's cool that, you know, you can help. Mm-hmm. And in, in, in one of those, like that, that same thread with the malfeasance, mm-hmm. I remember there was a Bungie dev that commented on it. He was like, I'm going to pass this thread along to the person who actually created that because they mm-hmm. feel like people don't see that Absolutely. and appreciate that. And I was like, holy shit, that's yes. why it's there. So Let's they go. can like, <laughs> yeah, it was Let's really cool. Go. It was really Yeah, cool. but I'm with you, bro. Like they, they really don't get enough credit. It, it, it's besides the immaculate gunplay. Yeah. Besides, you know what I'm saying? The, the 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 attention to detail from the artistry, right? You know, mm-hmm. the weapon creation, the subtleties, like you said, with a with a malfeasance and a thorn. Then, you know, me and me and E always talk about, you know, we got like a nine hundred or somebody who does these skyboxes, these tremendous, beautiful, mm-hmm. just oh my God, amazing vistas, right? Yeah. And you just like look at this. Like you do prophecy dungeon and you're like, look at this. Like yeah. I was just going through the um on the sparrow section and you're mm-hmm. seeing all the stuff intertwine. I'm like, who thinks of this? Like it's like <laughs> this is this is nutty. Like yo, yo like they don't yeah. get enough credit, bro. And the last thing and I always champion is the sound team, the soundtrack. Mm. They don't get enough credit. Like they orchestra, but so those guys, Silvestri, those guys, even, you know, I know, I know Marty gets a lot of credit from part one, and rightfully so, O'Donnell. Mm. But it's like, even now, like, yo, Silvestri, those guys are in their bag, man. I'm shout out to yeah. Scout. He just recently did um, remember he did the raid music themes, he had he was breaking it down. Yeah. And oh. I was, yeah, I was like, man, I forgot yo, Oryx beat was ev- like that boss fight mm-hmm. was ominous. I, I I go crazy every time I hear Last Wish and and the Shuro Chi fight as well as well as the escape from um Riven. I love that beat. I it hypes it's me so up. Good. Yeah, man. They don't get enough credit from a from a purely production standpoint and artistry standpoint. The game really is stunning on a lot it's of beautiful. levels. It yeah. really is. It really is. 
But yeah, that's good. It's good that they forward. That was cool. They forwarded the the, the stuff off. To right. The yeah. Awesome. And it, it just I don't know. It again, mm-hmm. just as long as we can, people like appreciate small mm-hmm. small things like that. I think Facts. that's it's what makes it worth it. Facts. Exo Star Queens Walk. What you know about that beat? What you know about that Queens Walk beat? What? Dun, 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 dun. That joint is hard. Anyway, I'm, I'm going for another tangent. There's Let's some, continue. There's, yeah, there's some epic ones too, like for sound. The no, Gambit I, theme uses uh, uses uh, uh, regicide clips. Yes, 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 yes. I know. I know. That one's good. <laughs> the, the, um, we may be getting this. I'll be curious which version we get back of Sepix too, because like the rock mm, remix was always fun. With the, on with the guitar and, hit E and Rise of what? Iron. Yes, yes. What man? I, don't, look, I, I get mad every yo every time I low key every time the Game Awards come up. I low key, low key harass Jeff Keighley. So I'm like, so when is Destiny the game gonna get selected for as a nomination? I'm like, I just want a nomination. You know what I'm saying? At this point, I don't even care. Like, they should be in the mix. You know what I'm saying? They really so do. I, that's me. I, I, I'll get on my harassment train. <laughs> just for Destiny. I'm bad. Oh, absolutely. But I love it, man. I love it, bro. I love it. Well, what else speaking we got going of, uh, you know, everything going on, at least recently, uh, first time for this season for Iron Banner. Mm-hmm. Wanted to see what your guys' thoughts on it were, how you guys are liking the new guns. Uh, we can start with those, actually. The new auto rifle, yeah. the new sidearm. If you guys are liking the new perks and the new guns, where are you standing, Nim? Nim, where you at? I am Banner. Um, well, haven't really used them. Uh, <laughs> I literally just got a fool's remedy. Uh, <laughs> That's the sidearm, I tried using right? the, yeah, yeah, I tried using the sidearm, and it's a full auto Suros. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I, I play with controller, and I mm-hmm. felt like the moment I started shooting, just like my aim went. Yeah, it went off. Just, like, yeah, mm-hmm. it went all the. Yeah, so I, I have to get used to it. I like certain sidearms. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, Fool's Remedy doesn't fall under the archetype that I enjoy. Me, you are too damn similar. Continue. It's funny you said that was literally my <laughs> assessment of Fool's Remedy, but continue. Yeah, it doesn't fall. I'm a lonesome. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm a, a lone... I'm a I'm a last hope. Okay, the Omelon. Or, I'm actually or... digging the new one. So. Oh really? Or oh, mm-hmm. what you call it? You know what I shout out to Tassie. Breach light, baby. I, I like me breach light and kinetic. I really do. But um continue because you were saying I don't think the, I get it. Breach light was the season before. Dawn. That was um oh, the season of okay. Dawn uh sidearm. Dawn, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Love that one for some reason. I don't know. It just feels good. But I'm I'm with you on Fool's Remedy for controller users. It just felt like it was all. I just didn't feel accurate, you know. I'm just yeah. like it, it's your your classic comment, like, "Oh, this is better, but it ain't it ain't better for me." Like it don't feel good to me. Like, and maybe so and that's I'm, honestly, I wonder the difference because I've been mouse and keyboard since it was it ever an option. I was on mm-hmm. PC for mouse and keyboard. So well, how was it for you? Like Fool's Remedy for me, I actually Peace. really like it. Like because mm-hmm. I can control it potentially, it and like I had to get sidearm kills, and I got one, and then I was mm-hmm. like, oh. Psh, here we go. Like mm-hmm. this, it's actually not a bad option. Hit, hits pretty reasonably. Yeah. And then now the new auto rifle, that one, that one I'm digging. Mm-hmm. I got a pretty Four decent path. roll. Yep. I got yeah, a pretty yeah. decent roll on that one, actually. Mm-hmm. I was pleased. Um, what do you guys think of that one? Well, I'll jump before path. I've been a fan when it first was introduced. I mean, I've always liked it. You know, now to me, 600s are just in this sweet place. So, I've always wanted a kinetic 600 that I could use because the other kinetics were like either being phased out. I think it was like a duty bound. And then the other one that was really good was Ghost Primus from the uh, Leviathan Ray, which I have. That's a and classic. Ghost yeah. Primus feels good. It's just that it just sucks. I can't put a you know anti-barrier mod on it. I can't, you know what I'm saying? Like you don't got the new flavor with it. So it's just yeah. like, eh, it's these old guns with the old times 10 masterwork that don't do nothing <laughs> for side of the <laughs> so i'm just like yeah you know but yeah. no foot forward path is definitely i don't have the i'd like the standard stock kind of role i think the one that uh saladin kind of gave me i think it was oh it's like those aren't stock they're all random oh those are those are rng so yeah i think I, it's decent the role i got i just want one with a pve kind of role oh like so feeding can, frenzy multi-kill clip like i got yeah, yeah. oh yeah that, that like that yes yes i, yes, like, oh, well, like I can't give me a pve roll but i got the pvp roll that i wanted that's sick so. yeah so i i like it um you know, I'm probably not going to get me to move off of my summoner right now. Shout out to uh, Aries, who's in, probably in the chat. He helped me get that. But um, so, but if, if for, for anybody who's looking for a Kinetic 600, that's the way to go. You got to get your hand on it. I think you can free up some exotic slots from other things if you don't want to use Suros and all that other stuff. What about you, Nam? Um, I 
you know, I just got a, like one that I thought was decent enough to start using. Mm -hmm. It's thing is, it's very, it's very difficult to pry off my blasphemer from my kinetic. Yeah, it's oh. so the, hard, I saw, dude. I saw the clips. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's it's so hard, but you know, I I try to play with other things just to kind of like keep it fresh from time to time. But mm -hmm. it just it. I see my numbers go down every time I start playing with something new, just because I'm not used to it. Do it, yeah. So like it, you know, I play like a couple of matches, and like I'm like doing, I'm like it. It feels like I'm throwing, and, <laughs> and I'm just like, oh, I'll feel you. I'll no, feel give you. me my shotgun back. <laughs> yeah, so you gotta you go really run with it. Mm -hmm. With the the forward path that I got. No, the what do you run with blasphemer? If that's your usual. Oh, it's the curated. Mm -hmm. It's the um. It's got accurized, high caliber, mm -hmm. quick draw, and opening shot with Damn. a range master work. Mm. Yeah, I can see why it's hard to pry that out yeah. of your hands. That's pretty. Yeah. yeah. F funnily enough, so you remember the the first like two missions in Shadowkeep where they kind of force you to do altars of sorrow to like tier yes. three, mm -hmm. and then you get a chest. Okay, that was the first drop. Like, wow. On, on, on Shadowkeep launch. Wow. Orange Jesus. Yeah, let's so, go. I, like I saw it and I kept it, and I was like, mm, "As you should." I'm, I'm gonna keep that because <laughs> yeah, I was like, "I'm gonna keep it," you know, just in case of small stash. I've, I've always liked slug shotguns because me so, too. Cognito, I don't know if you were, uh, I can't, you know, if you were super into like Black Ops or one or Ooh, two, yeah. but yeah, you remember the KSG? Oh, absolutely. Yes. Okay. I loved the KSG because it was a slug shotgun and had mm -hmm. a bigger range. So naturally, like these, like those slug shotties for me are like super fun because they're mm -hmm. high risk, yep. high reward. Yes. You know, I have, I've posted several videos of why I play with them because you will a hundred percent always get someone that's just like mindlessly holding W yep. coming at you. And if you, if you know your kill, your kill distance with them, it's like, Bye. you're just like waiting for them. It's like, yep. okay, oh, there you go. You're, you're done. Literally, Sorry, bud. <laughs> bro. Yeah. It's funny you said that because how you feel about slugs, and I've always liked slugs. First of all, you've been rewarded for being loyal now because slugs got the buff yeah. as well mm -hmm. in PvE. 30% PvE or something. How, yeah, how you feel about that is how I feel uh, with Lord of Wolves. Everyone apes me. So, like me, I can keep distance and say, hey, come mm -hmm. into the fire. <laughs> come taste this. You want this? Yeah. this? And it just, it's it's amazing. So, it's the same thing. Like, I'm, I'm anti meta in that regard. Because mm -hmm. it fits my playstyle, but I could totally see where you're yeah. at with that with uh with last one. That's dope. No, it's That's dope. it's been super fun and mm -hmm. I'm sad. <laughs> what? I'm sad because what? this is this is a gun that's gonna get sunsetted. Which one? Which one we missing? Wait, 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 let's pour our RIP shout out to which one? Blasphemer is going. Blasphemer. Oh, yeah, Blasphemer's gonna get sunsetted. Yep. Yeah. So, Rest in peace to the homie. Rest in peace. Yeah, to the homie. I'm like I'm trying to I'm trying to get it. Close to uh, five thousand kills as as crucible kills. Damn. I'm at forty eight hundred right now. Oh, you'll get mm. there. So yeah. I'm 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 close <laughs> mm -hmm. <You> <laughs> to just kind of hit that milestone before I can't I can't upgrade it any anymore. You, got, you should you just get to five thousand and just like set it in the vault and just leave a nice mm -hmm. even number and don't go over. Because <laughs> you know, <laughs> like go. just just leave it retired. Mm -hmm. I know, and, and like in a state of glory. I know, yeah. seriously. Mm -hmm. But here's the but, thing, like, you got to now start recruiting. Now you got to see the thing. This is the problem you're going to have. You have that emotional attachment, like how I have to certain t ones that we see that 1060 be like, oh, no, it's going to go. <laughs> right? yeah. So you got to start recruiting now. Who's yeah. the next that's going to take the spot? Like, I purposely I don't touch recluse no more and mountaintop because I know me. I'm like, those are my win buttons. <laughs> like, I, I got I to gotta, I gotta put it away now. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, no. So who's the new next in line? What are you thinking about? Who's your next? Who are the next kids that's going to take the mantle? Honestly, I don't know. I don't have one yet. That that and that's one of, that's one of like my bigger downfalls when it comes to the, comes to this stuff because like chaperone I can't run yeah, I can, no I can't run chaperone, chaperone because I run graviton oh uh, yeah. that was gonna ask what was your energy slot and that answers yeah, that graviton. so graviton that's got like thirteen k yeah. kills on it <laughs> jeez there you go as <laughs> mm -mm -mm. <laughs> that hasn't left my hand since like I started using it again how does um, how does chaperone feel compared to blasphemer if you do toy around you still as successful you know i feel like i'm a little bit more successful with my blasphemer than i am with uh mm. with chaperone i don't know what it is mm -hmm. but i can 
I can safely say that there's been times with Chaperone mm -hmm. that I feel like I know I would have gotten a kill and I mm -hmm. don't. Mm -hmm. Um and I'm not sure if it's if that has anything to do with like base stats or anything like that or just right. like the the physical aspects of the gun because as mm -hmm. Fallout figured it out, you know, different like barrel bodies for yeah, yeah for barrel lengths and stuff like that. Um, Must affected, be longer, but <laughs> yeah, <laughs> gotta be long. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Ooh. So got the after ASMR dark. in here tonight after dark. <laughs> after dark, last word, can't fight. We warned you, baby. <laughs> Ooh, baby. Um, so, <laughs> So yeah, I don't know. I feel like I've always been had a lot more success with uh, mm -hmm. with Blasphemer than than Shappy. I was gonna say I'm trying to think what else is even hanging around long enough. What good bone structure might be one that's like I think mm -hmm. gonna live for a little bit. There's mm -hmm. not a lot yeah. of options though. So I mean, Blasphemer is. I, I think yeah, I think I'm um this will retire once Beyond Light hits. Yeah, that yeah. that's that's the life expectancy that it has, and then I'm like, then I'm gonna have to find something else to kind of like. Start uh, replace with it. Them. Yeah. Start now. Because yeah. I'm telling you right now, you're going to fall in that comfort zone. It's hard to get out of it because you know what works. Oh, so it you already gotta... is. <laughs> <laughs> it already, I already feel that way, bro. Like, so here's, I, here's the thing. So when I play with my Titan, mm -hmm. it, and this is going to sound totally nerdy as shit. Let's when go. I play with my Titan, mm -hmm. I typically don't bring over Graviton and Blasphemer. Ooh, interesting. That stays on my Warlock. Oh, the warlock got his own weapon? Damn! Yeah, that stays oh, on my warlock. I thought I was hardcore. This is hardcore. I can hear you. <laughs> um, my Titan, at least the way that I've currently be, currently been playing it, because mm -hmm. Season of Dawn and Season of Worthy, I pretty much exclusively played my warlock. I kind of left my hunter and my Titan in the dust. Mm -hmm. um, but I started playing it again, and I've been running mm -hmm. Monte Carlo with him. Mm -hmm. um, that's a good... Oh, that feels that's a good. good. Yeah, it is. It's, it's really good. And so, like, mm -hmm. I have this little build with my good Titan. melee build. Yeah, let's go. Is it yeah. Skull for it? No. Oh, okay. Which exotic are you running no. the Titan, though? What you doing? Severance Enclosure. Really? Is that the that Finisher down. Exploder? That is, on PvE, yes. Okay. But Ooh. in PvP, it works with Shoulder Charge. Ooh, okay. And if you are close enough to people... Mm -hmm. When you get your initial kill, right. you will kill anybody that is within like five five meters. Wow! With severance enclosure. Okay. So there's been there's been moments where like if you, if there's like three people capping a point and I'm just aping my little heart out towards like B or something, okay. and I manage to get that one, all of God. them are gonna go down because they're 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 standing right next to each other capping the point. That's fire. That's and fire. it's fun. So that's why I run fire. Monte Carlo so I can get that melee up. You know, mm -hmm. all the time, more mm -hmm. consistently. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's really fun. It's an underrated exotic, dude. It's mm -hmm. super underrated. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, no, that's um, that's, that's been up. great. That's what's up, man. I gotta try that. You gotta check it out. That's some cool bills. You gonna try that one? E? I'll think about it. <laughs> like, no, honestly, yeah, you sound like he ain't peeling no, off. I was of like, I've just stared at that exotic, and I'm just kind of going, I don't, I, and then <laughs> I feel like, like even when I just didn't. <laughs> Didn't seem it's, like it was going to do that much, but yeah, in the right situation, I guess I could see. Exactly. Yeah. It was, I was going to say, it's incredibly situational. It's not something right. that you're going to take advantage every single time you get a shoulder charge kill with. Yeah. Right. Um, but when when it happens, it's satisfying as hell. Mm. To get like that multiple like kill yeah. clip procking, it's Fire. super fun. Nice. Fire. That's what's up. Yeah, man. I've been, I've been, those, those are the two I got. I will say it's um much harder to get these weapons to drop these ib weapons to drop yeah mm -hmm. so kind of wanted to bring that up so you've got two yeah. new re refresh weapons coming back mm -hmm. but you got the full loot pool to go between so yes. when it comes for i've seen people asking for the idea of either a deliberate way to go after some of these guns or anything of that nature mm -hmm. wondered if you guys think iron banner is just like still the token slot machine but you've got i mean everybody's like hey i got my set of armor i've got plenty of the old weapons but I want the two new ones. There's no way to directly go after those, especially after we've been working with the prismatic recaster for so much this right, season. Right, it's right. the exact opposite and almost feels mm -hmm. that much worse because mm -hmm. you can go, I can go after cold denial and guillotine over and over and over and over and over over here. I've got 15 things to pick from. And I'm just like, I've got a lot of tokens and I'm like, I'm going to burn through all these and get like one roll. Yeah. And question out of the 15 things are the uh, older iron banner stuff. 1300 or those are 1060 stuff those Two. are now newer 
So they if they drop this season, it. like say a right. Swarm of the Raven, for example, is a prime example. Everybody went for that thing when it was, you know, in yeah. the meta. It's not quite yeah. as cool as it was. Still pretty mm -hmm. good grenade launcher. Mm -hmm. um, but now if it drops now, yeah, it's 1360. So it's or whatever the grinding that, for, the, for, for the new version again. Yeah. And again. since we got Nim <laughs> here, he seemed like he had an opinion about it. I wanted to open, mm -hmm. open the box of Sunsetting. That's and good. we've we've mentioned this. We talked about it last week when you weren't here. And this mm -hmm. is like a prime example of now we're seeing the whole reissue thing, which is like I was for sunsetting. He was against. We ended up coming to kind of a middle ground in general on it. And mm -hmm. then like probably for both of us, though, and we, like Tassie said, like reissues was an issue that I saw for lots of different people talking about it. Be like, I don't want to go after the same thing. And now we're seeing that prime example for specifically Iron Banner. Now, like Forward Path and two weapons get it, like new perks, which one's good, one right. very odd. Um, yeah, one's odd. But for the reissues, just what's your thoughts about Sunsetting since you're the guest that got it? We got we to gotta ask, got, and then just kind of you. now this coming up too. Ooh. I'm okay with it for weapons. Mm -hmm. I'm against it for armor. Ooh. Okay. Interesting. That's the first. This is new. I want to hear break that down. Because... As anybody who's played any power level power level enabled PvP activity can mm -hmm. test, uh, you see a lot of the same things. You see a lot of more recently now, for example, you are, you mo you're most likely seeing a lot of summoner, a lot of nine hunger, oh, yeah. or uh, mountaintop, oh, yeah. particularly just <laughs> freaking mountaintop. Yeah, I can't. Uh, <laughs> so, I'm, I'm sorry. I know. I, I'm sure you like that gun, but. No, it's no, just, no, I'm with you. I'm, I can't, that was what I'm like, yo, what's the date on your expiration? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Can't wait. <laughs> yeah. Continue. Um, mm -hmm. So in, in, in that case scenario, like just seeing that stuff over and over and over again, nice. um, mm -hmm. and it gets very tiring. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's, it's honestly one of the reasons why I kind of don't really care for Mm -hmm. And and it's one of them. I mm -hmm. I don't care for Trials of Osiris mm -hmm. um, because you're basically just going up against the same thing every Long single time. time, and it right. gets it gets very tedious. It gets very frustrating. Mm -hmm. um, then mm -hmm. and I'm not a threes player. Like right. I love the chaos of six v six. Um, keeps me on my toes. Mm -hmm. um, but and in PVE, it's it's basically the same thing. All right, Riven. Get out your grenade launchers. Get out your. Or <laughs> I don't know what the strategy. I think now. people are sorting them now. Sorting well, her. Yeah, I know that you can dark Riven? drink her now. <laughs> that's disrespectful. That's, that's actually going to get changed on Tuesday. Yeah, it's going to be oh, a little okay. less, a little less. So you know, or like more recently with like the sanctified mine or or garden of salvation. It's a mm -hmm. xenophage whisper of the worm. Yep. Um, and you know, it's just it's the same. It's, it's the, the same, same thing yeah. every single time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I can't imagine that Bungie wants to create more weapons, right, that are cool, but people are still kind of holding on to some of those, like, Mountaintop or Wendigo, mm -hmm. uh, Hammerhead, and stuff like that. So, in that sense, I'm for it. But when it comes to armor, that's a little bit harder to kind of, like, get, particularly with a solid stat roll. Yes. Um, Preach. I feel you and, with that. And master working it is not cheap Ooh, resources brother resources oh, talk exactly i did resources a whole rant is... about that before mm -hmm. yeah so it's not cheap to master work a piece of armor like you gotta you gotta be like all right i gotta commit to putting this ascendant oh yeah shard on here um mm -hmm. especially if you don't really run nightfalls which i mm -hmm. don't so whatever mm -hmm. shards i get i'm like shit i gotta make sure you know i'm gonna commit although yeah. now it doesn't matter because <laughs> i it's not going forward uh -huh. Um, so that's why I'm against armor, just because resources are really hard to come by, especially if mm -hmm. you don't do nightfalls. Um, yeah, good point. Uh, stat rolls is not easy to come around. Mm -hmm. Um, point. get those high is, 60s, mm -hmm. yeah, which is probably why they're introducing transmog in year yeah. four for the know? look, right? Exactly, for the look. Because you know, mm -hmm. if like, for example, for me, um, my warlock has the thorium holt chest mm -hmm. piece. Um, and that has a really high intellect roll and I, mm -hmm. that's perfect great. for us. That's what Ex we want. Exactly. That's yeah. what I want. Um, but it come beyond light that set those shards that the prism, the prisms, it's not going to matter anymore. I basically have, I've, I've lost that. 
Yeah. So now I'm going to have to look for something new. Um, so that's why I'm against, I'm against the uh, sun setting of armor, but you when it comes good, to weapons, like you make a good point with armor in, in terms of the stat role, you know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. we all know how hard it is to get those good roles. You know, thankfully they've increased this. I felt this patch, they've been more forgiving with a lot of the drops. I do, I did prophecy. I got a lot of high 60 roles. I'm starting to see them a little bit more in the wild, but I do feel you because you've got all these different layers of RNG already, mm-hmm. right? Then you resources are limited, right? So when you do get these assessed shards, you do get a golf ball and all this stuff, you know, you've got to think about really committing. And then for them to say, okay, now we're taking this away, it is, it is, it's a hard, yeah, it's a hard pill as well. I do understand your point on that. Weapons, again, me me and E have met in the middle. Um, there is a part of me that is enjoying having to think about what I'm going to use come beyond light. I'm not going to lie from a weapon standpoint. There is a part of me that does enjoy saying, okay, you know what? Reclusia had your run. You know, which go ahead you run. I got to start picking replacements. So I, I've actually come alongside to E's side on that. We'll never, mm. meet him. we'll never meet on the middle with exotics. He knows that. We will fight tooth and nail, blood and teeth. It, 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 will, it will go down. Oh, but, I want to hear this. <laughs> oh, that, you don't want to hear it because it'll be another two-hour show. And we've, we've, we've made I'll a I'll make it really simple. When it came to sunsetting, I was going to say everything, and he oh, cannot God. stand to see exotics go. Yeah, then, no. yeah. See, you see your face? You see, he, your, he wants your Graviton Lance gone. He wants it gone. He wants to kill your leg. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, it's barely become effective in PvE with the unstoppable uh, pulse mod that you can put on armor instead of a gun. Ooh. I know. You uh, know? So, like... <laughs> he's I was like, no, no, I was me. like... The idea was for a while that a lot of people do crutch on certain things, as you're saying. It's like mm-hmm. you live on your recluses, your mountaintops and mm-hmm. stuff. Mm-hmm. But there are certain exotics that get that same effect. So it's like, well, mm-hmm. now if you take out the recluses, the mountaintops, and those types of things going into the mm-hmm. new raid... Everybody's going to probably narrow it down to a very short list of exotics, and they're mm-hmm. probably all going to be trying to work with those mm-hmm. when it comes to whatever kicks off in the fall. So right. you still have this thing. And, and my question to him was like, OK, yeah. so it was year six. It was year seven when I used to joke, but at least we know six actually exists now. Mm-hmm. That's new. I was like, <laughs> year six raid. Should you still be able to take Whisper into the year six raid? Because it's a year one exotic. That's a good question. Honestly. Mm-hmm. Yes. Why? Because Whisper is not the same powerhouse as it was back in when it first came out. I agree. If we're looking and, in particu- and that's, particularly. And, yeah, again. Mm-hmm. But on the other side, if they did have the sun setting in place and it got to live in its shining moments when it was powerful, then it had a chance to live, but then it would also be sunset. So, mm-hmm. yeah, it's like now Whisper's he, not as big of a deal. But say, okay, what about Anarchy? Everybody mm-hmm. and their brother, other brother's mother uses anarchy right now for next to everything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If like keep taking that thing forward, like if there's something that's that good exotics right now, there's like 150 of them. We have a lot. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. it was just the idea if they want to continue to introduce exotics that can shine. Mm-hmm. I always wonder how much, like how many heavy machine guns can you make? Like Xenophage is cool. It's definitely a unique thing, but we've got, we had delirium, which is better than most. We haven't had that many exotics. So even the legendaries had their pieces. You've got what mm-hmm. Thunderlord and Xenophage now for exotic machine guns. Air apparent, yeah, and air apparent. There you go. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. but the thing is, so like we already have, we already have like a slew of legendary weapons that mm-hmm. are moving out of the game. Come beyond light. Yeah. Um, we don't know how much more exotics are going to come with beyond light. So if they were to do an exotic sunset. They would be basically sunsetting almost every exotic that came out in the game up until Season of Arrival, which are a handful of them. And from what I know, Bungie doesn't really like to take away tools too much from the sandbox. Mm -hmm. So that's probably one of the reasons why they've made the decision to keep at least, you know, exotics from sunsetting. Mm -hmm. Um, And again, it's not like... It's not like, at least when we're we're looking at, you know, like champions and stuff like that, which it seems like that's the direction that they're taking a lot of stuff into. Uh, It's not like a lot of those are super, super handy. It's like, I think Mm -hmm. maybe Ariana's Vow 
Yeah. And um, Leviathan's Divinity breath. both have like intrinsic perks, but I mean, outside and of Leviathan's that, like breath. The, oh, the and, and yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. it's like those are the few that have like intrinsic perks that are kind of useful in those activities. Mm -hmm. But you, if you take a look at like a lot of those other exotics, just now pulse rifles are becoming viable in like a Grandmaster Nightfall, for example, because you're mm -hmm. able to use that armor mod yep, that right. grants every exotic unstoppable. Yeah, right. and that was before so, that was a thing too, which is nice to see that because that was the other piece I've asked for is like exotics. I would love to see those have mm -hmm. a slot for even That's if it's just barrier, unstoppable, mm -hmm. and overload, just yeah. a slot to use those mods. So hey, it's pulse rifles this season, or it's auto rifles, whatever. You can use that exotic, and if I can take a Suros with the auto rifle mods that we've got, right. helping keeping me alive. That's mm -hmm. where it's going to give them new life, and that I'll give you. It was before mm -hmm. some of this started to come mm -hmm. out when that's that fair. debate happened. That's so yeah, yeah, that's fair. And I think there's excited again to meet in the middle because we don't go fight. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing oh, it today. I'm not. Oh no, that was good. Like, I was, was, was trying to keep it together. I was like, well, letting them handle this. Oh. That was one of our rowdiest <laughs> podcasts for sure. Yes, very rowdy. <laughs> um, but I think that's what we can do to meet in the middle is to excite you specifically, right? Because I understand your position on it. My my thing is, you know, maybe like I said, you can like you said those mods right so when the seasonal artifact comes out it's like hey pulses sidearms or whatever the the meta is going to be for barrier and overload right that those can now be applied to exotics or you maybe you put that on the armor slot right that allows it to you now use uh, how exciting is it going to be to use rat king up in there and that has overload <laughs> mod. you know what i'm saying like everybody's yeah. running rat king like it, it there could be fun moments where older exotics that haven't got touched can get can get a chance to shine yeah. and the last the last part i would say is that they've proven I know you mentioned the whisper thing. They've proven that there's certain exotics, like I said, they either bring down or they bring up, right? And, or mm -hmm. based on based on the meta. And I think that thing is just a shifting thing where other things can get life. And they've proven with Graviton Lance and Sunset Sunshot that remember those initially were kind of weak at D two launch. They yeah. got buffed. Cosmology got buffed from mm -hmm. um, Graviton. And we were like, holy, we looked at Sunshot and those explode. Dude, it's a party going off when you play yeah. your Sunshot. I was literally talking to a dude on Twitter today. And he was like, I forgot, I think we talked about Noong Hunger. And he was like, yeah, I can't, you know, take that out of my energy slot or something. I wouldn't use four pass. Right yeah, he's like, there's no, he was like, there's no, his, his point was there's no exotic energy, um, energy exact that he's excited about. I'm like, bro, have you? And I named like four, right? I was like a Graviton, Sunshot, Ariana's. And I'm like, you haven't used those? They say hello. They they say hi to you right now. So he's like, Sunshot, I haven't touched that since the beginning of the D2. I said, bro, you need to touch it again. It's it's that good. He So he's now playing and he's like, yo, you're right. Like, this is crazy, the things yeah. you can do. So it, it, again, there's ways they can do stuff to, like I said, buff older exotics or archetypes that in general like mm -hmm. could we all agree snipers kind of need a little love right now as far as pve scouts PvE too. Sniper. yeah scouts especially yeah scouts especially they could do things in the sandbox so we'll see we'll see i think we could meet in the middle there though you know what's a sad fact what's that um oxygen SR3. Never got, never got a chance to shine, bro. Never got a chance to shine oh, before it's getting sunsetted. Yep. I'm so mad. I had so high hopes for that gun. Yeah. I had dragonfly spec. I was, I was going all out, <laughs> and I'm like, this is still trash. <laughs> it's just not good. It's never like, been good. It's, like that's, it, I that was the that sad gun. side of Pinnacles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Mountaintop and Recluse are it the was, other scary. Side. It's just yeah. funny to see that. Yeah. All of Rukul. the crucible pin, or at least like most of the crucible pinnacles, mm -hmm. excelled both in crucible, but yes. also took over the PVE side <laughs> of things. They don't want the game. <laughs> yeah, Yo. and like the PVE pinnacles was like, all right, you got mm -hmm. loaded question. That's <laughs> yeah. all right. No, but don't don't sleep loaded. I I had some no, fun with good. loaded. I like loaded, loaded, man. Loaded question was with me like throughout Bro. um throughout Crowns of Sorrow, dude. Yo, like I had control. You know, actually, with that one, explosion. I will say yeah. that no, literally loaded question and toyed around because now you've got the I cannot remember the name of the perk, uh, but mm -hmm. you put it on a bow. Reservoir burst. No. Yeah, um, oh, for for oxygen. The hold on. One second. No, it's the new perk that you'll get. Sympathetic Arsenal. Put that on a oh. bow with loaded question. Every time you reload, you're sitting mag capped, so you have Ooh, it just waiting. I didn't even think about time. that. 
with the explosion. That's fire. I didn't it's, even think about that. It's wow. beautiful what you can do with that combination. Wow. That's all the time. Sick. Literally I'm about to dust every that time off. you shoot a you reload constantly. So shoot a couple, switch up. Always waiting. Always waiting. Mm, and that's that's the essence of loaded question. You want that full right. clip explosive. Bro. See, that's I can't touch it now because it's going to go away. Then I'm going to get sad that I can't do this. <laughs> well, yeah, and that's, what, and that's, nah, again, nah, nah, that's nah, the nah. thing right there. It. It's bailing. So, like, you yeah, can only enjoy okay. that this season. But it was like, mm -hmm. that was one of those with Sympathetic Arsenal on a bow. I'm like, cool. And that's mm -hmm. something that can truly take advantage of it. So it That's super cool, dude. Mm -hmm. that's but that's, that's what makes me wonder about the fall. And we'll get back mm -hmm. to my other topic here in a second is yes, sir. how big of an influx, because we're losing a lot, obviously. Yeah. Blasphemer, loaded questions, lots of pinnacles. Mm. It's getting to be whittled down. I mean, people were saying there's like going to be one or two swords. I mean, the mm -hmm. lists were getting pretty small. How big, I wanted to ask both of you, how big of an influx, how big is this new loot pool that they introduced with Beyond Light? How big do you think it's going to be? Names? Oh, man, dude, it's got to it's got to be substantial because we're we're going to see a lot of stuff leaving. And. I don't know. It's a looter shooter, dude. You get you gotta have you gotta have gotta something have to chase. <laughs> you gotta have stuff to chase, and mm -hmm. I don't know. I mean, I feel like they'll. They're, I feel like they're gonna do good. Um, you know, a lot of if we, if we're looking in comparison, you know, a lot of people tend to kind of look at the seasonal stuff um, more than it should. Mm -hmm. You know, um, like they'll look at it's like oh you know it's only this season only has like three weapons with it and right. like two exotics or whatever but then it's like you got to think about the fact that this is this is not meant to be like a dlc Preach. this is just kind of meant to satiate you Preach. meanwhile we get a bigger piece of content in the year because i mean mm -hmm. if you take a if you if we step back a little bit and we look at destiny one we didn't have anything between house of wolves and taken king that was six months Drought. of the same sandbox yep. of nothing but just trials was basically the only thing that kind of kept that going because people still wanted to go to the lighthouse that didn't mm -hmm. go but now we have at least something to kind of play and chew and mull around with until mm -hmm. you know the the big fall expansion comes around so i think mm -hmm. they're gonna do good i think we will see a good heft of like possibly like a forsaken sized mm -hmm. type of like loot pool coming in yeah yeah i'm with you um i think it, it it's it, it has to be you know i mean obviously if you're going to introduce sunset and you're going to make a big commitment to a blog post about why this needs to happen yeah. you clearly have to have a plan in place to you know to to basically satiate that so yeah i think it's coming i i got complete confidence in it. there's one thing about bungie man when it comes to september not only do they introduce things, they always rework the backbone of the game. They mm -hmm. always introduce either subclasses, perks, just new things. I mean, even last year, E, I remember we were like finishers. Like, what's this? Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, I didn't even know I wanted this. You know what I'm no, saying? Like, yeah. <laughs> this thing you never knew you wanted. And yeah, I, I'm I, like, yo. This there's so many it, it, think about there's so much like revenue potential. I would buy foolish things like Karate Kid doing stuff, and <laughs> I would like you know sweep the leg. I would just spend money doing this stuff. Like they they've opened up a, a whole new revenue stream for things I didn't even think I needed. So I have full confidence. You know they're gonna kill it. You know we're gonna get that raid. I will say this that I'm proud of them though, is I was under the impression that with the expansions, them right like. You know, we got Shadow Key. We had the dungeon. We had we had a uh, new dungeon, and we had a raid, right? So mm -hmm. I'm like, wow, that's a lot of content. So greedily, I'm like, we can't ask any more dungeons. You know what I'm saying? Because so to see prophecy up in this, mm -hmm. I was like, okay, this is cool. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So I, again, got to get them credit. Like like you said, this is a this is a, a ever changing game. It's a, it's a game as a service in a sense. You know. These smaller things are to keep us afloat. To keep, they're yeah. not meant to be, and I, I'm at peace with it. Finally, I was mm -hmm. he knows I was very upset during the transition at first because you, you like what you like and you got used to it, you know. But as a studio, and then if you look at the resources, right? We're like right. lost vicarious. They look. I can't. As, as selfish as I am, I can't ask them to do that without all of these resources. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So now it's just like okay, cool. 
This is what we're going to get. But my whole thing with them, I just like, this is my only beef with them. And I always stay hard on them on this part is with the annual content. Like you see how we're doing stuff with these stories with, with the, you know, with um Eris and Drifter and, you know, you got the Devil's Ruin quest and the pro like I want those narrative threads told right and cinematically tied into each season correctly so it's cohesive. You know yes. what I'm saying? That's yes. a must for me. I'm never going to end get my boot off their neck with that. Like, please connect these things in a full, a cool way. Once no, you absolutely. do that, I'm good. I'm good. And then I recognize, you know what? September's the big boy. You know, this is when, yeah. and I'm good. I'll, I'll leave you alone for the most part. But to your question, ultimately, big, big sandboxes coming. Big, I think, additions to the loot pool. New exotics. They, they're going to kill it. We got darkness subclasses in a way, you know, coming in a way. Go ahead, go ahead. That one, that mm -hmm. one's a big one because not only is it thus like an entire new subclass to kind of play around with, mm -hmm. but it's a subclass that's customizable, yes. un unlocked like the ones that we currently have. Mm -hmm. So now, are that's going to be really fun. Are the old subclasses going to get a rework to get that same customizable feel? So according to Luke Smith, they're using mm -hmm. this um, this new dark like darkness stasis. Um, as an experiment to see how it works mm -hmm. and if it's successful most likely they'll work on opening up like those other um older subclass trees up mm -hmm. interesting so interesting. you're gonna have literally more player choice just on the new one as a yeah. right be curious how yes. how fast people are like oh dude do this to all. i can't imagine it's not gonna take like a week and be like yeah do this to all of them right now <laughs> just to jump right on it because i yeah, mean that's no. what everybody like i miss like hey do you want this perk or this perk and it's like yeah. and not everybody's there may be some optimal but hey i want to go for a certain build style and build yeah let me mix it up so yeah, yeah. i agree i agree I agree. now my only that. wonder for the fall it's like weapons i'm with you guys like i think it's got to mm -hmm. be big it's got to be a chunk because i remember there was a graphic somebody put together of like what was going to remain in each archetype for each weapon and it was pretty stingy in a lot of places mm -hmm. so i mean mm -hmm. I don't know if you ask for 40 or 50 or whatever, but I mean, I don't know the number to ask for, but it's got to be a big influx. But my question is, mm -hmm. and this is where I wonder when you talk about armor, do you think they're going to do anything else to armor in the fall? <laughs> like, like a 3.0. Jesus, I don't think so. Mm, oh, his heart's breaking right now. It's, I, it's, I, it's a, I mean, it's a long shot hope, believe me, I know. But mm -hmm. when, I mean, when you I think like at when, that point, it's hard to see. I mean, I don't know, again, because I'm just a caveman that plays the game. Um, <laughs> and I, I, I don't have the big brain they do to like come up with this stuff. Mm -hmm. um, it's hard to see what else they can open up with with our current system with armor, because we have, you know, we we now have the, the ability to change the, the, the elemental uh, elemental stuff on it. Uh, mm -hmm. We have to, the two mod slots. We have a lot of possibilities for builds and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I don't know outside of transmog what else they can add to the armor system. Mm. Aside from maybe like what they did with Gambit Prime right. and armor set perks. I would love I to see that. that. I love that. But, but For let, let, me ask you, let me ask you guys a question though. Realistically, as much as we all want armor set perks, does that play nice with armor sunsetting? No, it does not. And that's what I worry now, because, because now you introduce sun setting, you really can't have some sets to hold on. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I'm not that you can't, but it's just going to be for limited times. You know, that, well, that's well, I mean, so something about. where I could see sets be valuable as a raid. Like if there's a deep stone crypt set oh, I'm bonus with you, perk, brother. I'm with you. you it's know always you usable in there. You could even Facts. keep the set in your vault. Facts. But it's, you don't worry about almost, it going forward because that's it, still always usable in that vault. Yeah. It's almost it's almost like we had that already. Yeah, and I it know. It worked already. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But for uh -huh. some reason, for some reason, it's not a thing anymore. It's not a thing anymore. Yeah. It's Even not a thing. Great. I don't know. I will die on the hill mm -hmm. that Wrath of the Machine had Woo! the best investment system in Destiny. Talk your talk. And for the Wrath of the Machine guys, y'all always give y'all a hard time. But I always say the loot pool and the investment system with that raid was by far the best. I will always oh, give it up. I got my Seaver shirt on today, Rather Machine. <laughs> but um, <laughs> yeah, salute, man. I always give it up because it always made me want to run it, number one. 
you had the key system, let's see the key thing, so that even if you did the raid already, you had investment to still do it for a chance at a reward. You had the dude. Wrath had the greatest loot system, man. I, I not really to agree. mention, mm-hmm. not to mention that like the energy and the heavies, they yes. all had an elemental burn. Yes. So I like that's what kept me running because I was like, shit, I love mm-hmm. the ex machina. I want oh, an ex yeah. machina on all the burns, bro. Shot. Let, let's talk some warlock talk for a second. Remember the the mattress chest we had? Oh, that, dude! Yeah, remember that? It, looked like a, yeah, it looked like a little bed set. Like, it looked, but, but yeah. it helped you when you were doing the bomb thing. What was it? The um, exactly because it, it, it had, had raid perks. It had perks yep. that were consistent with the mechanics of the raid. And like, why are we not doing that no more? Yeah, like, raid. I don't. Yeah, raid get it. weapon and armor perks. Please let that come in the fall. Yeah, bro. Like I missed that. Like they. Had had it lined up it was no reason to go away from that i'm with you yeah. now I'll, I'll die on that hill with you bro like that whoo rat rat did it right as they, far did as, it, yeah, they did it they did it 100 percent. Right. like the best that that's been the the best investment system when it comes to like an end game activity like yes honestly like, nothing in d2 right now has compared Not, yeah. to 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 that i if anything mm-hmm. it's been kind of lacking yeah throughout I, its throughout its history mm-hmm. i admit i, I ran rap a lot because what? Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know, dude. I mm-hmm. I used to raid a lot in D1. Um yeah. and a lot of that kind of like died down on, on Destiny 2 because mm-hmm. I don't know. Same thing. The the yeah. the visuals and the armor, um, mm-hmm. it just did it didn't give off to like the the that fantasy aspect that we had in Destiny 1. Mm-hmm. Um we had reduced like weapon archetypes in, mm-hmm. in the actual loop pool. You know, like Last Wish doesn't have a heavy machine gun. Uh, mm-hmm. It doesn't have a sidearm. Good point. Um, and if we look at Leviathan, Leviathan, o- original Leviathan, right. not Spire and stuff, right. they were missing weapons oh, yes. that were taken out of that loop pool mm-hmm. and inserted into the raid layers. Mm-hmm. Oh, and then those sadly were like you do an entire raid layer and experience with six people and you got two drops from it. Yes. Yeah, that was. Which, the number of drops doesn't really like super upset me because it was just it was a smaller thing right um it's cool. like half the size of a Bro, dungeon any <laughs> we gotta call it how we gotta call shout out to yeah. extra extra reset it they they don't the raid armor just don't give that wow factor he made a good point yeah. like like you i remember when uh shout out to the people again i give crota guys a hard time you know what i'm saying but crota set bro Let's talk about it. You know what I'm saying? Like the the the, the joint. I mean, my my warlock's looking like a vampire with the with the necks. You you know you know what set it is. You you got that as far as your DCP pick. So I already know you know. Oh uh, yeah, bro. Like that set it, it, again. It, it's epic. It, it it fed it fed aesthetically with what you were doing. And and I gotta be real with y'all. As much as I love prophecy, I ain't really care for that set as much as I thought I was. Oh, the I new armor. That. There's a reason why though. Oh, all right. Why so, am I, okay, say what you're going to say, because I'm upset with one thing, Nona. Like, why I, I do this great raid, and I got this Louis Vuitton Daito logo on my chest. Like, I don't, why I need a logo on my chest? <laughs> <laughs> because, because Break that was the, because that was the Eververse set. Okay. Yep. That's the one they <laughs> so took that, out of that, Eververse, and they put exactly. in the aspirational they, activity. They, exactly. So they, they want to give players a reason to play it. I, I, it's I thematically that. not tied to it. it. That, that's what I was, we know damn well. The prophecy <laughs> ain't got nothing to do with Daito. Like, what? What? Who's selling Daito items but, <laughs> in the prophecy? Everybody, clearly, everybody the thinks nines, it's Dado's armor. It's fine. Clearly, Dado, one of the whatever. nines has Sorry. a Daito like thing. But I mm-hmm. mean, so they, that, that, that's why they do have the original trial set as yes. also a set that drops yes. from it, which makes more sense. Um, then the Dida but, one, but I, right. I can at least appreciate the fact that, mm-hmm. so when Pit mm-hmm. of Heresy came out, yes, I was excited for it. Uh, I was like, holy shit, this is, this is dope. He's going to lose it. Don't get me started. He's going to lose it. And then I, I ran it with Pyro and we did the first encounter. Mm. Chess popped up and that purple Ingram came out and I mm. picked it up <laughs> and it was a dream bane armor set. <laughs> And I was like, his last year's flavor. 
From the new ray. From the new dungeon, no, y'all. Just, it was the moon and not related it to the pit. St- it was the <laughs> armor from the story that you're forced to get already. Check Here it out. I am running Mass- a new <laughs> sick pinnacle activity, and I'm getting uh, stinky armor. Check it out. Masterworks for, for, oh, for perfection. And then, oh, and then masterwork with trash stats on the end with as well. With garbage stats. No 60. Let's go. It hasn't even been fixed. Hot fire for you for that hard work. Uh, so that was that was probably to, it was just such a kick in the yeah. Yep, area I got you. Yeah, where <laughs> the area, the area where like it just sucks. So I can, now I can appreciate that they gave a, this this you know dungeon not only one but two armor they sets. Two, yep. They got two. two to chase. Um, just gotta do, we got to do better though, man. We can't let yeah. them off the hook. We co- we come from the Crota's raid. We come from here, the Oryx. I'm gonna joint. put it here in uh, in the Discord chat. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. what my D1 character looked mm-hmm. like, and there, this is something that you, you'll have to pull it. <laughs> I'll look. Yeah, this is something that you cannot replicate in D2 with any of the ra- raid armor. It's uh, it well, should I mean, be if, if you take right the now. the ri- the end of Rise of Iron, every one of those sets in the end when Ooh. they redid those raid armors Bro. with the spikes oh, out yeah. of Crota oh, with see. the all four sets were yeah, amazing. Bro. Like I can't yeah, look I right now cuz well, what it is screen. is it's for y'all remember it's that bro, he's got the he's got the Necrochasm that he's got the 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 the, the Crota, I believe the Crota set chest piece. What, what is that the Crota helmet too? What no, that helmet? so what that's actually that? the Crota chest piece, mm-hmm. and the rest of the armor is the ornamented set from King's Fall. From King's Fall, yes. You can't look like you look like oh my god, you look like a, a dark god in it. It's just oh, it's beast, it's beast. So, so, is, so like yeah. right, so you you see a character like that in Destiny One in the tower, and you're like holy you're like, shit, I'm where doing I can that get raid tomorrow. Right. <laughs> like, yeah, that's the that's the goal exactly. Right. Exactly, there's not been something like that in Destiny Two. Yeah, sorry, Crystal. I know. And the chat's like, can we see it? He sent it. It's an image. On it. Hold on. Yeah, it's an image. So uh, we'll try to work on it so you do see it. But um, again, it, it's those moments in D1, again, that made me play the mm. raid. That made, I never forget why people want to know why I'm so infatuated with, with trials. I remember it was like yesterday. I went to the tower. It was another warlock, and he was out here looking like Anubis. And I'm, I'm like, what is going? Where do you get this at? Like, I'm doing yeah. this now. Like, that's what they miss. And again, I step in the right direction. Out of the Everforce store, I give you that. Step in the right direction. However, it needs to be there you thematically go, exactly to the. Yeah, let's go. There we go. Yeah, that member. Oh, he was looking like. A- Dark God, that was fire. That was fire. Got the, got the necrochasm. necrochasm in Destiny Ooh. 1 was my Graviton Lands. Mm. Ah. Yeah. That's I'm the one I know. One's, to I'm, no one's surprise. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, that's the one. If it ever comes back, you'll lose your mind. And I think I remember on Twitter, you were like hoping with all the Hive stuff coming, you're like, Necro? <laughs> Necro, yeah. <laughs> they gotta bring I it think back. I remember you were hoping for that secretly on Twitter. Yeah. If I remember oh, right. dude, every day. <laughs> no, you, you you get it. I think you guys are getting it. I, yeah. I, it may be. I don't know if it's. I, I feel like when Scarlet Witch comes out, Witch Queen, you know, Witch Queen. I like the best. <laughs> I butchered the name. I know. Here he come with the correction. Um, <laughs> I think I like, it's gonna be. Last... <laughs> yeah, I already know it's coming. I, I already, always butcher it. So, like, I do feel they they're gonna introduce King's Fall though, as the reprised one. Like, I know Vault is coming. For this one, for year but four, for yeah. Beyond, yeah. But for some reason, hey, we never know. We we might get it though. We it, might get it. Oh, you like, know what that? You know what that can imply, right? Oh, we can. We we gonna see a, a reprise of X Mythic class? Oh, we got to. We have to. We got it, right? We got to. Come on, now. Right? that's scary. You can't, have, you can't have Vault of Glass and not have Vex Mythic no, class going forward, bro. Like it's it's a given. As far as I'm concerned, it's, it's a given. <laughs> with with Fate Bringer and what? It, it's gonna be lit. It's, listen, mm. that alone will sell people on that stuff. Like, a, oh, hundred percent. You you all I gotta do is do the. Could you imagine the the the, the marketing team te- teaser trailer? And then while oh, they're going through all the oh, new content, sh- and then they're like, dun, 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 you know, now, fate break. Like, people are going to, pff, so many people have such an emotional attachment to these web, it's going to go crazy. All they would have to do is just, like, kind of tease Vault of Glass, right? 
Mm-hmm. Just like the, the with the new lighting and everything. I bet that's mm-hmm. season 14, if I had to guess. Fade the yes. screen to black and mm-hmm. just have the sound effect of oh, the Vex Mythic yep. class shooting. Oh, yeah. And then people will just... People are going to lose it. People gone. Lose. I know, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I know mm-hmm. people, tons of my friends who, who quit Destiny that would come back just for that. That's how <laughs> so much good. that weapon, those weapons and that, that <clears throat> raid is beloved. It's a lot of people's nostalgic first experience. And yeah, it, 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 they, they're sitting on a ton of stuff. Man. I, I'm oh, not even the Oracle about sounds it. too. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody did that on a keyboard. I lost it. That was, that was so, it's so good. Yeah. Shout out to them. Bye. So yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Beyond Light's exciting. I'm hoping yeah. there's so much we don't know. And it's mm-hmm. the fact that they like, I don't know when they're going to tell us the rest. And I know we still have two and a half months till it's going to be a thing. But mm-hmm. I mean, we're wondering, it's like, Okay, so how much are we going to get? Like, when is... Mm -hmm. We know Cosmodrome's coming back, like, for New Light in Season 12, and then later on we'll get more, and then Vogue will probably be even after that and everything like that nature. So I'm very Mm -hmm. curious when they'll tell us, like, with teaser trailers, oh, by the way, here's your bonus raid. (laughs) (laughs) And that thing drops, man. Oh, that's going to be crazy. Well, they said year four for for that, for Vault of Glass. if If it's always the doldrums of spring... With Worthy and Drifter and everything yeah. else, that you know that's the perfect place for them to be like, hey, just in case you feel like this season's quiet, yeah, we brought you back Vogue. So even if it's season of the Drifter, here's Vogue. Like, mm-hmm. season of Worthy, you know, 14's my <laughs> guess. If I had to wager now, it's 14. Because mm-hmm. that'll be the quiet before 15 will lead into Witch Queen. So right. that's like yeah. kind of always the spring quiet nature. Yeah. Yeah. Because they said it's not coming at the start. Right. Oh, they did say that. Oh, they confirmed that? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, sometime in year four. Oh, okay. So yeah, it's yeah. not Beyond Light. It's sometime it's not in beyond year light. four. Because, listen, Beyond Light is going to be packed already. So it's, it's perfect yeah. to reprise that when... And it makes sense from a, from a content delivery standpoint. Like, it's, 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 it's basically old assets that they just got to, you know, bring up. Which well, I just, I, I I'm curious how they're going to, like, invisibly wall off the part of Venus... Mm. because it's a patrol zone is where you start Mm -hmm. so like how are they going to just like have just the zone and the skybox and nothing else out there that's a good question i'm sure they'll 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 like block it off with like some of the environment Mm -hmm. do you think they'll have that opening section though with venus or do you think they'll more start you inside and take that part out no, I think they, they no, gotta start they you have outside. To stop, bro. Yeah, they gotta start you outside. I'm hey, asking easy, again. Easy, <laughs> easy. Don't you mess with my nostalgia. We gonna build that spot. <laughs> exactly, yeah. We gonna build that spot. I'm that just was thinking like that, that's more of like they start pulling Venus in at that point. So I was just kind of curious. So why you always be messing with my nostalgic moments? I noticed this. I know you have this thing where you, you know you know they could butcher your joint and take that out. This right? coming from the guy <laughs> who puts words in my mouth just to spring a fight up in chat. So yeah. I'm just saying, he's like, well, what if trials is this? And I'm like, why would my stuff, you always got to create these terrible, <laughs> I'm sorry, if I said something scenarios. bad about trials, I was probably right the way it's gone. See, so. there you go. Don't put that, Dang. keep your, keep your energy <laughs> over there with your negative self. <laughs> oh, we lost a man. Lost a man. <laughs> See, you upset them. I was just, <laughs> that's his connection, y'all. He'll be back. He'll be back. Yeah, man, leave, leave my journey alone. Y'all know we're back. He's you back. See, he upset them. He's made them leave and everything, man. <laughs> 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 Talked about it so scary. He's like, oh, I'm out. This call's over. <laughs> now I get what you say. All jokes aside, nah, listen, it, it, it's something they, they have to tackle, right? But yeah. I can't see them getting rid of it. It's just, just for the simple fact that was literally the essence of the raid was creating that spire. And yeah. People oh, I know. It, so. I just like, it'll be like invisible walls. You just can't go around and they're just going to, they're going to have to b- develop enough that you yeah. figure out where you stop. And that's basically it. So just mm-hmm. be curious how mm-hmm. they do it is all. Yeah, man. Uh, but I do want to ask you guys for Iron Banner and stuff like that to kind of bring it back mm-hmm. to current times, since you know I could speculate about the future forever. Matchmaking. Mm-hmm. Curious, your guys' thoughts as Iron Banner. This is the first time they took out skill based and it's pure connection based matchmaking. Like it? Don't like it? Um, I've just seen different sides of it on Twitter, so I'm just kind of curious where you guys are standing. No. Start off now. The, the okay. man with the Superman curl. I can't not look at that one <laughs> hair, by the way, dude. It's literally like 
It's the Superman it's a, curl. It, 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 do you fix the hair and pick the one and pull it down? Is it, <laughs> he said you pick the one. Is it, is yeah, it intentional? Stupid. I gotta know. That's the it's clock not intentional. Right okay, because I was like, yeah, it's, it's too 100% not there. intentional. <laughs> no, like, like it takes a lot of product to keep the shit up. So I, I've been wearing it since because it, my hair is a disaster if I'm if I don't have stuff on it. So it's just it's the end of the day. I've been having this since like eight o'clock in the morning, so it's starting to come down a little bit. But um, mm. anyways. Iron Banner, so here's the thing mm-hmm. with the matchmaking thing. Mm-hmm. I know I play a lot of Crucible, yes. right? I play a lot of Crucible. Mm-hmm. I don't consider myself like a Crucible, though, like sweaty person, obviously. You're pretty damn I, good, though. I mean, that's subjective. I <laughs> don't. <laughs> Selling himself short over here. Just ask Chris Buff when they go one on one. Um,. I haven't felt a whole lot of difference. Hmm. And I again that's probably just because I don't I don't see the crucible super objectively. I just go in there and shoot shit and if I get shot cool, if I shoot other people <laughs> cool. Yeah. So um it's hard for me to really tell too much of a difference. Um mm-hmm. honestly like the big the biggest thing that I can I can I've noticed since we uh we did this change is um uh control matches now seem to be and i know i'm gonna get shit if like either uh stark or crit or like are still watching right now mm-hmm. um oh. he'll be back. He'll be back. Yeah. he'll be back hold on we him lost him. him yep yep told you he'd be, he be right back all the time like he do that uh prescott oh prescott agrees prescott says okay yeah i'll jump in while he's connecting um yeah you know, for me, it's it's one of those things where it is my experience has been it's been a pub stomp or I've stomped. I don't I it's I don't feel it's like in between. And yeah. you know, look from a connection standpoint, for the most part, I have no issue. From a I mean, that's you know, the idea. Com- so I hope not. <laughs> yeah, I haven't had an issue. You know, in that respect. Now I have been running with teams. You know, what I'm saying a lot. So I don't know what the solo experience is a lot this season. I haven't really played solo banner. Like I normally I play a lot of solo banner, but this one, this one I didn't. So, you know, I've been hearing stories, you know what I'm saying? Of people just like, this is brutal. You know what I'm saying? Just trying to get stuff done and getting killed. I know you play solo a lot. So I know, you know, oh, there goes them. So I'm yep. going to get, a, let's get him back on point. He was making some points. There you go, Dem. You're back. All right. Back sorry about that. So, You're good. Um, hmm? Uh, yeah, so the, the one thing that I've noticed now is um, mm-hmm. people go in with a, a, a bigger focus to slay. Right. So um, matches usually end up like in a loss a little bit more now because people are just trying to like just, you know, play mm-hmm. it. They play Clash. But I feel like before we had this change, mm-hmm. um, people played Control a little bit more right. objectively. And I know I'm the type of player who kind of skips over zones, but <laughs> oh, you you missed the You're non-objective. The non-team player, yeah, damn it. No, damn. Look, I'm I I'm the one I'm the one jerk who will capture the first zone and just pretend the rest don't exist. <laughs> so you're, you're like the teammates got me. that. I got people to kill. Yo, okay, it's, it's a team effort. Other people can capture the zone, and I'll Jesus. get I'll get the kills. You know, I'm just saying. <laughs> oh my god, not say they saw them. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, hey, I got the gunplay. You go stand still. Just don't die. <laughs> I'm going to use my it's weapon so... skills and my Nova well, warps wait. to kill people. You, Blueberry, sitting in the corner, just stay there. Stay alive. Don't die. <laughs> Will you at least put your foot on the circle for a triple cap? So that salad, at least for the, when you're close to a triple in cap? In Iron Banner, I will make the effort. Okay. In Banner. In Banner. In, in Banner, I'll make the effort because it matters more there. Yes. Yeah, that's but in regular got... control... You like whatever. Me. 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 At least, yeah, he's honest. He's owning it. I respect yeah. that. I respect yeah, that. Man. Good to you. So for overall your experience, though, you just feel like, you know, it's not a whole lot good? different. Yeah. Okay. Like, I've, I've, I've played with the majority of this Iron Banner. I've played it with, with mm-hmm. friends. And um, it, it's been either we steamroll or we get steamrolled. <laughs> Hold on, yo. Our sanity just came for you. He said, them is like the people who run ahead in strikes and die. And I just stop by them and go on my way. Damn! I'm <laughs> 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 the 
really like you said that? Outsanity. Outsanity. That's what it was. Oh, okay, yeah. It. Uh, you right. <laughs> <laughs> I run ahead. I'll go take care of this. Come. And then you just wait in there. And so in my experience, it'll be more like I'm going and then I'll just blink slightly further than I intended. And, and you can't recover as a like, warlock. I yeah, I can't, there's no recover. One, as mm. a warlock, yeah, you don't have a whole lot of recovery. Two, mm -hmm. it's a blink warlock. You got even less. less. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a fact. So, if, that's if, a you fact. Boop, yeah. if you boop, if you like zoop wrong, you are, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. bye. <laughs> yeah, you're done. It's you're all done. over, dude. Yeah. No, I mean, listen, like I said, for me, I've been playing mostly team this Iron Banner. So I don't have a full perspective on what it's like to be running solo banner with connection base. Mm -hmm. For me, it's just been explosive. It's been, you know, we stomping. Or we get mercy quick. <laughs> you yeah. know what I'm saying? So from a speed standpoint, I guess the matches are going quick. You know, I know a lot of the higher skill guys love it, you know, and they're just like, hey, I, I get to have some fun and I don't have to, you know, play against super sweaty all the time. And, you know, I get that, you know, and then there's, you know, I just I just want to make sure that <clears throat> we have enough evidence that people who are running solo are having fun. Because that's my concern. You know what I'm saying? I know yeah. me and E have talked about possibly like how we have in comp, maybe a, a lone wolf's queue, queue, right? Like a solo mm -hmm. Iron Banner queue for those guys who don't have a stack. Cause I would assume again, that it, it can't be the funny, funnest, you know, going up against complete, you know, stack solo. And I know E, you, I know you're about to talk about it. So, you know, that, that's where <laughs> I'm at. I mean, I, I can't really comment cause I'm actually having fun. And my experience, yes, when the times we got stomped, you know, Salin threw up the flag and was like, we're going to mercy this now. <laughs> you guys are out of there. And, you know, that was it. Shout out to Tease and Teddy because um, yeah, Concern came through on us. Team Concern, oh, they came through, boy. <laughs> they got us up out of there in one match. But then they was like, we went on like an eight streak of just stomping people. And yeah. I can't front. When you're on the good side of it, you're like, yo, this is great. <laughs> I was again, about to say, yeah, yeah. like, you're chilling and having a good time think about the other eight think teams you other, just played yeah, against but the, but the yeah. other team that's not yeah, great not, at pvp and are I trying agree. to get some pinnacle gear and I finish agree. some bounties i agree they're brother. probably like oh i'm not just yeah, not they like this, this anymore. Game. Yeah. and that and that's see this is the difference between me <laughs> and most because again i consider myself above average pvp i'm not just you know god definitely not but you know my thing is i think about the health of the the, the community of the game, right? Mm -hmm. I want people to keep playing. So if someone's getting, if they're telling me, my, you know, like, hey, you know, we getting stomped, I hate it. Like, I'm a trials guy. I don't want those guys to go away. You need those guys for the pool. You know what I mean? Right. So that's yeah. why I want to make sure that we actually still cater to them on some level, you know, so they still stay invested and want to play the activity. But E, you're up. I know you had a lot to say on this. No, I mean, it's, I've seen... Mm -hmm. I've seen both sides and I can say it's like you take the M Tash, mm -hmm. you take the the high level skills and they're like, man, I'm so tired that every time I go into a PvP match, it's sweaty. Right. And sometimes they just want to have fun. Yep. Shout out then to Then when Forte. this goes active, yeah, it's like then when this goes active, I see some mm -hmm. of them post up like an 80 kill game. And I'm like, Jesus, <laughs> what the they lit they love it i was like and they're having an absolute blast but the people <laughs> on the other side getting point one, point one, point two, <laughs> and getting just stepped on like that's one person who now feels like hey i get to feel like a god for you know mm -hmm. more often because i'm playing against people who aren't even near my skill level and i can just mm -hmm. squish them like bugs mm -hmm. but on the other side you have an entire team hating their life <laughs> You, I mean, reevaluate your life. No, but that's the thing, and that's kind of the thing. I'm with you guys. I had some mercyed. I had some. Mm -hmm. I got mercyed. Yeah. Totally get that. And this is where, like, mm -hmm. the solo queue. Maybe the solo queue would be skill, and maybe the right. regular one could be connection. Yeah. Because if you go yeah. solo skill, basically the main reason I'm even bringing any of this up, mm -hmm. I've had the back and forth. I stomped some people. Is it like, cool? Yeah. I got squished. Cool. But it was <laughs> there was one time I got squished. It mm -hmm. wasn't like anything else I played. And if somebody yeah, played yeah. multiple matches the way it was 78 to eight, mm -hmm. we mm. didn't hit double digits. And I had three mm. of those kills. <sighs> I had three of the kills on the bad team. And no, you. everyone, no one else. <laughs> no. Some people had zeros. A couple no. people had 
it was point Yo, it was, was decimal so fractions they kept the wolves the whole mercy <laughs> like they oh. kept capping the wolves. i was like what team did they put me with what's going on here yeah. and that can't feel good and, and the last point to jump on your point is <laughs> i don't know if it was me but i did feel spawns were a little weird well the, um, ga- the game that i was talking about yeah it was i always can never remember the damn maps it's the nessus one uh, mm-hmm. Where heavy can be down underneath between the two little endless veils. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yeah. Mm-hmm. It was that one. Oh, mm-hmm. they were spawn farming us constantly. As spawn soon as they farming. got it cycled, yeah, as soon as they, as got, soon as it, they yeah. got the cycle, and it was yeah. a six stack. Yeah, I know it was a six oh, stack because I looked. Yeah. So if you're a solo player and you hit a six stack that is running that well, you will yeah. set that game down for a little because yeah, it's just like that's it was rough. rough. The spawn, the spawn killing was crazy versus six. So again, in your, to your point, E, if I'm you know the new guy. And these are my experiences. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 I can understand. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I can relate to that. I can empathize. Yeah. That's mm-hmm. rough. So it's like, and that's, yeah. it's like, and I don't want to say like, hey, the people who don't want to be sweaty all the time, they don't want to play sweaty on. But on the other side, right. it's like, so what the really high skilled person is, is like, hey, I want to go crush some people for a little while. Facts. Talk that talk. No, but it's like, talk that that's talk. what they're going for. And it's like, but sometimes for them, it's like, hey, everything's tense. And I'm like, Okay, for me, tense is at my level or worse. If let's it's the, if it's like worse, let's just say, e, let's just say, let's just get controversial. If you that good, you should be playing with people who are the same size as you. Stop picking on the kids. <laughs> Listen, let's just say no, what it is. Like, that's a huge controversy on Twitter, and I'm always watching different sides, and I'm always kind of curious. It's just interesting. It's like so you want to feel godly for a little while. That's uh-huh, what they uh-huh. want, mm-hmm. and it's always just interesting to see make it and. Make it harder for people to want to step into iron potassium, and potassium. Jesus. <laughs> iron banana. Yeah. Um, <sighs> it's just, it's one. And as I'm average, like I'm okay mm. at PVP. I don't suck. I have some games where I do well. I had one where mm. I went like 31 and had a four and a half KD. And I'm like, that was actually, mm. I felt good. Mm-hmm. And so I had those and that's the one where like, yeah, they probably were getting tired of me killing them. Cause I was going off. <laughs> but on the yeah. other side, when I get, I'm okay. And if I have mm. three kills and we have a total of eight points, <laughs> Something's wrong. <laughs> That's an issue. That's that. Even yeah. I'm like, I don't suck yeah. that bad and I can't hardly move. And I'm yeah. getting team shot like three yeah. people running his group around every person that spawns. <laughs> I feel you. And it's like, that was the extreme. And no, it was, I only had one that was that bad. I feel you. I feel you. So it was like most of mine, like you guys, won some, lose some. And I'm kind of yeah. like you, Nim. I'm like, I'm not taking it all that seriously. Working on bounties, mm-hmm. shooting people, having fun, mm-hmm. messing with my own stuff. Hey, is this non hunger good? Hey, how's this forward path? Is it good? Is the range now that it's minus 40 if I got this weird? I'm having that new perk is so yeah, weird. So the weird. minus 40 so range weird. that turns it into so a submachine weird. gun. Odd. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. But it's just like when you get stepped on that bad, that's the times. If you put yourself in casual shoes, they're like, screw yeah, this. I'm out. Yeah, like I'm out. Yeah, and especially yeah. if that's one of the places casuals can go for pinnacles. Yeah. Kind of hurts a little more. Yeah. No, I get it. I get it. It's, it's all so about. that's. That's the thing, that last sentence right there, that was an interesting one, because we have a hard cap, mm. which is the 1050, yep. right? That's, mm. that's kind of like supposed to be the, the stop point for quote unquote casual player, right? Yep. Because the initial, the initial thing for Pinnacle mm-hmm. uh, power level was for those who wanted a, something a little extra mm-hmm. to chase. And I think that's where I think that's that's where Iron Banner comes in. That's going to be for for like that you know that demographic of people that are, that are chasing that. So maybe like sure to someone who doesn't raid often, this mm-hmm. might seem like an, an avenue for maybe getting a little bit more power. Absolutely. But I think at the end of the day, like it's definitely more targeted towards like that that group of people that are like, all right, you know, they're they're more involved with the game than someone who will just kind of like play a couple mm-hmm. of hours a okay. week. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, that's my no, I get stance it. with that. I get it. It's, it's like I said, it's, it's a balance that they just gotta to figure out. I feel, I still feel they're kind of experimenting. I, I was yeah. actually surprised, you know what I'm saying? When I heard that they were going to do connection base for this, you know, let's give it a shot and stuff like that. You know, Bungie's all about the numbers. They're all about data. You know what I mean? So yeah, I for sure. They, yeah, they're compiling right now, and I, I was curious. I'm very curious to see if the next Iron Banner will remain that way, or what they what conclusion they come up with based mm-hmm. on the results of this one. I'd love to I see them try a solo skill Iron Banner. 
be oh, curious. That'd be interesting. For, like love- connection for whatever you play teams, go stomp, mm-hmm. go whatever. Yeah. Or if you go solo skill, kind of yeah. live in your zone. I, I that'd love, be interesting. I love solo skill comp. I got a lot done in solo skill comp. So, you know, it, it helps. You know, it, there's nothing worse than obviously you the solo guy. You know, like when you start a match and you just know you're playing up against a stack and you're just like, yeah, it's going to be a long. Yep, you know what I'm saying. Like that match you, you can't know, get over soon enough. Yeah, you like this. You, you, like again, the Edo. Like I, again, I'm above average. If I'm on my team and I'm dominating and I'm carrying the team, we got a problem. Like 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 Same I should be dominating and carrying and looking like a superstar out here just to keep it competitive. Like nah, that's when you just know. Okay, you know, you see what yeah. this gonna be. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. I was, was gonna ask you guys real yeah, quick, since we're mm-hmm. in the topic of uh of Iron Banner. Mm-hmm. Um so we've had basically the same formula for Iron Banner oh. um since Destiny One. Mm-hmm. It's definitely aesthetically speaking, it's definitely geared more towards having a thematic approach to the Iron Lords. Right. But do you guys think mm-hmm. it's about time for Iron Banner to become its own thing? In what sense? Because if you if you if you take a look at it, it's it's a glorified mm-hmm. control game. Yep. Yes. That comes around like three times per mm-hmm. season or or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um. To, and like like I mentioned, like if you look at Iron Banner in D one, mm-hmm. it's it's literally just control, but with a different set of rewards. Yeah. Um. And now you know they've they've definitely done a little bit more work where it, you. You know, you have like the fire pits for the control. Right. Um, you have the 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 different uh the different um like rule set. You know, if you cap all three, you lock yeah. them all down. Yeah. But... And you have Saladin uh, as the VO as instead of mm-hmm. yeah instead of Shacks. Yeah. But mm-hmm. I feel like we've gotten to the point where I Iron Banner feels stale, and I'm just okay. not talking like just just game mode wise, mm-hmm. but like overall, I think. Mm-hmm. For a game mode that comes around three times th- on, on the lifetime of of, of a season, mm-hmm. I feel like it needs to become its own thing to get to for to people to get excited about it again. Because mm. for after a while, I'm sure for like most people, it's like oh, Iron Banner, right? Got some bounties, you maybe. Yep, yeah, there's there's some bounties to do. Mm-hmm. And there's a lot of there's a lot of lore oh, that yeah. they could they can use to create a mm-hmm. like extremely unique like mm-hmm. pvp game like introduce a capture capture the hill mm-hmm. but with it, the iron axe from the archon's oh, yeah. forge let me let me jump in because uh you say it's some stuff just touching me because obviously lord cognito iron lord's podcast mm-hmm. it was founded off of <laughs> that whole thing you know say rise of iron you know but um look iron lords are near and dear to me I, I love that whole story. I love the lore behind it. Here's the problem. The problem is I love what you're thinking, but I think Bungie has probably seen. Think about this. Mm-hmm. The few times that Iron Banner and D1 tried to be Rift, tried to be Clash, right? Mm-hmm. People push back. People were like, oh, why do we got to do this? Bring back control. Bring back control. We hate this. I hate, I'm not playing Iron Man this week because it's this. You know, I've seen it. Like, I I've was seen, the Rift guy, by the way. I, trust me, I, <laughs> I actually never got upset when Iron Banner tried to do no. another mode. Why is I was that? like, let's go. It's just different. Like, what's the big deal? You know, but I'm not playing it. Da, da, da. So we know control Iron Banner is the favorite. I love that they've got the thematic stuff. And if you remember, yeah. I think, was it, am I, damn, I'm losing track of my memory. I'm getting older. Wh- which one Ephrodite came back? Was it Rise of Iron. Rise of Iron. It was, it, wasn't she the host for a little bit or something? Like you would she, go to her for the bounty she, or something? You would go to her, yeah. Yep. Right. They were trying things. And I, I was just like, I thought it was cool. Like, do different this. Like, again, like you said, there's so much with this lore. Right, yeah. there's so much with the Iron Lord. Like they could really do other things thematically in conjunction with the mode. Because I mm-hmm. agree with you, Nem. It is kind of stale after a while. It's like okay, I just a pinnacle chase. You do your battles, you go. Okay, cool. But like, there's so much more you can do. And to be honest, oh, absolutely. I think Saladin is disrespected as a character. He's just that now. Like, yeah, I, yeah. Like, let's be real. Like, we just came off of 
season of the unworthy and we just <laughs> learned we that's, just that's got been a, his phrase all oh season. yeah that's trash i hate that worst season in death <laughs> no disrespect but i'm sorry i just gotta call it how it is but uh, the thing is we just came off of an informational bombshell fell winter fell mm-hmm. winter right a uh, iron lord who was secretly the son of whatever wouldn't we yeah. like to know how saladin feels about this yeah we don't even get no right. new dialogue from saladin we we ain't get nothing like saladin just nothing. come through nothing you know what I'm saying? Like, okay, I just found out one of my guys was, you know, a plant from a from a war mind. <laughs> no big deal. We're not going to talk about. I don't have any vengeance. I don't have anything. You know, I'm just going to come drop in this hot pot and then give you some weapons and, and leave. So hot that's pot. that's what that's what you mean? Do we come with that's the hot pot? That's a good pot? point. I never thought. I never Bro, looked at it through that 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 lens. That's why I get so mad with them because this game has such of the best lore that is not connected. That there's yeah. no connective threads and no one feels away and nothing. It, they they just need new right. Lord doesn't move a pro- I, I actually disagree, bro. I think Lord does move it if it's done and connected well because you'll have an emotional attachment to said thing. Look how crazy we getting over. I mean, Vance about never Shaq's- Vance never got his like handshake or bro hug or anything yeah, from he ain't even, Os- Osiris. He's been the biggest fanboy of Osiris. Ain't even get to meet the dude in, in the cinema yet. Like like come on, same thing. No bro hug between Osiris and Saint. You, bro, I just saved you. Like where, where is this at? These are huge things. S- season yeah. of I mean it, you, that's lore. You hundred percent will move it. We'll mm-hmm. move a product. Look at season of Dawn alone. Yeah. Think about Saint how we felt. So 14 came through that thing. Bro. Right. Saint 14 was a character that existed in scripture only. Like yes. we the, the the only thing that we had ever mm-hmm. seen of Saint 14 was his helmet. And right. up until more recently, like the shotgun was a was a thing. Facts. And then season season of dawn, which again, as we stated earlier on, it's mm-hmm. a season. It's not a DLC by any means mm-hmm. necessary. And it was mm-hmm. one of the better seasons because narratively Facts. speaking. You are bringing a character back to life. That's mm-hmm. lore. That's lore, bro. And here's That's the thing. lore. I, think about Last Wish Raid. I remember, like, dude, as a warlock, as a Voidlock, right? You're a Voidlock. Think about how we always love Amonkara, that helmet. We've had mm-hmm. that helmet for the longest, right? I didn't know what it was. I didn't know what it tied to. You know, I eventually mm-hmm. learned out about, about dragons, whatever. And then Last Wish Raid comes. And you get... Our first almond car. Like, these are moments, bro. Like, that yeah. connects. Because you're like, yo, I had that exact from D1. I always wanted to know what it was. And now we're actually fighting the last living almond. Fire! Like, they're they yep. just sitting on stuff. And I'm with you. I think, you know, the 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 story with the uh, Back to Iron Banner with, with, with uh, Salad and stuff. There's so much. Salute to, salute to one of the wolves right now. I hear them. <laughs> salute to the wolves. No, no, you know that's a wolf. The wolves are howling. The wolves are howling. So um, yeah, man. Like I just think it's so cool. There's so much they could do narratively, and even give it a mm-hmm. PVE piece. Like I'm with you, man. It, it should be more than just relegated to just a control thing. Yeah, and and, and, and should have a little bit more to it besides just doing yeah. honest. But yeah, wait, what you at? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. I mean, I can't agree mm-hmm. enough from what you guys are saying because we've mm-hmm. got. As you said, you've got what eight Iron Lords that we got to see in the cinematics. Couple that we mm-hmm. played with Effort Eat. I don't know what's up with Effort Eat. Some, but Lord, Bife probably yeah. knows where she's at or doing Bife things. Knows. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's like game. I know people like threw fits when they change up. Why is it not control? Yep. I I honestly we would be very curious now if you would have a different tone because all we've had is control for so long. Mm-hmm. If mm-hmm. you people would be like, yeah, try something different. Yeah. I yeah. mean, I would love for them to introduce Rift, but as you're saying, it's like, so when you're saying if it's its own thing, is it just a permanent note on the director and Saladin's just chilling there? You want him no, to be... No, when I, when I say, like, its own thing, and I'm good, I'm using this just as a comparison, but chat, don't freak out. Um, I'm saying its own thing, like, if we compare it to Gambit. Mm. Like, Gambit, it's its own plane mode. Like, it's its own PvE, oh, PvE, okay, PvE I get thing. You. Like, have Iron Banner be, like, some sort of, like, I don't I like I don't want to say gladiatorial because it's like it's like it's not the right comparison, but mm-hmm. you know, you you when you think of the Iron Lords, you think of like that like the dark ages of where like they used to kind of like watch over and reign. So you, mm-hmm. you know, um have some sort of I don't know, it's again it's it's gotta be some sort of objective like P, like PvP thing, because it 
ultimately like shit was crazy back when the Iron Lords were <laughs> oh, yeah. a thing. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? The warlords um, was out of them streets. <laughs> right. And um I I mean at least that's what I would love to see. I would love to see something just completely refreshed to kind of like embrace that, you know, theme of like the oh, Iron yeah. Lords. Oh yeah. In- I, I instead agree. of it being Control with Saladin's voiceover. Yeah. I feel you. No. Then yeah. maybe maybe a PVE component in conjunction when it comes around? Possibly. I mean, you know, like I've always had it in, in like this idea of like having Iron Banner um as kind of like an arena mm. where you you like almost like, oh, like no. a type of like Archon's Forge type okay. of deal. Okay. But you can throw in you know opponents in there as well oh, you're talking my language right now i'm all for this i'm, all, <laughs> I'm for all of this spartacus gladiator let's right, get it yeah I'm for all that and like a lot of that armor um like at least in, in destiny one Ooh. you know it gives off that vibe bro that, and remember the furnace pieces chest oh, piece exactly, with the, dude, I exactly. Those, the fire, the fire exactly. and the man with the they the best ornaments going mm-hmm. that iron banner talk that talk that 100 dude so I would love to see Iron Banner evolve evolve into something like that, where it's more arena based, more gladiatorial, mm-hmm. or mm-hmm. you know, again, like they they have a mechanic in the game that mm-hmm. they they have not used, which is the the Iron Lord uh, battle axe from Archon's mm-hmm. Forge, mm-hmm. Um, King of the Hill with that thing. <laughs> no, I'm yeah, man, you. like a true, you know, different mo- moments to like like true guardian testing because isn't it? An extension is his version of of the Crucible. It's an mm-hmm. extension of what Guardians should be doing yeah. and stuff like that. It, it, there's so much, man. I mean, I, in your defense, they've done a good job with say building, you know, you know, Osiris thematically, I mean, thematically right? So yeah. yeah, he needs that as well. It, it's so much there, man. It, yeah, so much, man. I agree. I completely agree. Hmm. Do Red Punko hate that club? He's so disrespectful, dude. He's so disrespectful. <laughs> Damn it, New Red. Be nice. <laughs> and I guess this kind of wraps up what we've talked about for weeks now yeah. is, mm-hmm. I mean, we get two Iron Banner weapons, kind of reskin, couple new perks. Not mm-hmm. like, I mean, you think of the weapons we'd have in the years of Iron Banner for Destiny 1. Yeah. But they had Activision behind them. They had a couple different studios yeah. they worked with when it went into Destiny 2. And now that they're really on their own, we start, I guess, we'll, we will continue to see how much we can ask of them. Yeah, mm-hmm. between what we yeah. get in the fall, and it's like I would love like, hey, they bring back Rift. We get an entire new set. I mean, how many times have we been getting the same? How many times have I had Cromilly's dagger as a hand cannon Bro, drop the in three years? Horrible. It's been hard. Yeah. Let's call it what it's been. Iron Man just hasn't gotten any love. It's it just it, it really is. I, mean, I remember like you you would you would log in and you know there's a there's a weapon pool that you'd get you know the Nerwin Mercy's day the clever dragon days like every week you'd get that introduction of something we have been getting remixed weapons and we've been getting the same armor sets but let's keep it a buck just because oh we got an ornament slot now now i can put a mod in there now like it's nothing new drop it no. like, it's just been remix after remix and i'm just like yeah, I'm with you. It, it definitely needs an overhaul. It doesn't. It's not an. It, it's not a highly anticipated activity as it used to be, and it's just literally a pinnacle drop activity. That's all it is. Yeah, right it's for something it. that comes around three times during a season, so right. a lifetime. Yeah. Exactly. For as frequent as it comes, it definitely it needs some love. I'm, I'm completely yeah. with y'all. Yeah, we 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 don't even have it on the calendar anymore because <laughs> they don't even. See, well, no, but that's. I know they're trying to give less away yeah. on the calendars for what's coming yeah. in the season but yeah, the, i appreciate it. Mm-hmm. but that's also i wonder if that, that's them also trying to downplay it as well yeah because again this is where you got to wonder it's like how much can they do is can there anything do? cool yeah. coming in the fall we're mm-hmm. asking a lot of the fall but like we have been staring at this stuff for three years now so it's it's right. time no, i'm with you i'm with you i mean listen and, and, and my last point on it i'll leave it alone i understand resources you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I really do. And I, I try to be empathetic towards that. And to be honest, the reason why I've given them a pass on it this season is because, I'm going to be real, I didn't think we would get no dungeon. I didn't. I was shocked that we got Prophecy. I'll be honest. You know what I'm saying? So for me, I look at that. That's resources. That's that's allocating 
you know, to to a team. Now, yes, granted, I know it's supposed to be going away. It's not it's that this one's not staying. You know, hopefully they'll explain why. Coming back later for what? Coming back later, like. right? Yeah. So you know, I, I think right. it's it, it's really cool that they gave us that. You know, I'm definitely gonna be jumping in. I you know, I still think there's a chance that we get you know some repro. I, you know what I think that Iron Man thing happens is we're going to have to revisit a season where he is the focus and the Iron Lords are the focus again. And I think it's yeah. time. You know what I'm saying? I think it's time. We've had a lot going on in the lore, but I think it's time that they can get like a, you know, a season or the whatever that involves something going on with the Iron Lords and then we can get some story beats with that. It's going to be interesting considering we kind of have a uh, a light guide as to what the next couple of years of Destiny is going to look like. Right. With like, you know, the Age of Darkness now coming into play and um Sabathun, you know, yeah, in the in the system and mm -hmm. making her presence a lot known a lot more now. So, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Mm -hmm. What else we got, Eve? Yeah. I mean, that kind of covers everything we got for the week. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a quiet week. We got actually have yeah. Titan coming next week, mm -hmm. but I mean, that was basically we have like, moments of triumph starting next week, and that has is it been next unspoken week? of. Really? Is it next week? I, I forgot yeah. it was next week. Yeah, I was like, I was, I remember because I know Solstice <laughs> of Heroes is coming later. Wow, that's interesting. Yeah, moments of even... moments of triumph starts next next How reset. How did they not talk about that? Not even that's in the interesting. Job, dude. It's not wow. in the no, it's not in the blog. It was in the message when when I logged in. Yeah, moments wow. of triumph, July seventh is. I mean, that's he's right. That's almost three months long. So I mean, that's you trying to check every box for how. I mean, that's going to be go make sure you get your. Every other go do scourge, go do Leviathan. That's going to be you mm. check every box for the past mm -hmm. three years, so they're going to give you mm. as long as possible. Because normally, mm. moments oh, of triumph sure. doesn't even jump in this early, like they yeah. they shorten some of those maybe last six weeks or whenever it's been. It's usually shorter mm. every time, yeah. But how could they? That was right, like, how could they introduce it without talking about There's, it? There's there was no mention of like what Zero. was coming with it or like the, the armor, which. Typically, you know, we mm -hmm. kind of hear about that like a week before it starts. Yeah, before it starts. So we can it's start hyping that, hyping that up. But hyping it up. No, yeah, we have no, well, like, yeah, unless, Kev yeah, unless like in uh, what Bungie Kevin's Day. saying yeah. in chat um, that uh, they'll Day. announce it on, on Bungie Day, but uh, yeah, that's still, still weird. It's oh, reset. That, uh, I was <laughs> like, yeah, that's 7-7. Seven, seven. That's, that's the day. There, it's things reset. are going to go live, like, what is it, an hour before? Here's yeah. here's all your information an hour before things yeah. go live, and then because mm -hmm. they're prepping everything for the patch that day, because we're gonna get one yeah. there. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. But again, I think I wonder moments of triumph because there's new triumphs, new seals. Mm -hmm. So new I honestly armor. want doesn't say it. Oh wait, sorry, I think I'm thinking Solstice, Solstice. of Heroes. Yeah, Solstice yeah, has the armor, of, and Solstice. that's a month later. So we got the armor, yeah. new glowing legendary armor for Solstice. Looks kind of sick. Mm -hmm. But moments of triumph, I wonder if it truly is like, here's your check boxes for the year. And that's there isn't as much to hype about it. I'll be kind of curious if that's yeah, why. They definitely ain't talking about it. This is interesting. Yeah. Mm. That I is what we got to say. I didn't know it was starting that soon. I didn't catch. Mm -hmm. I knew Solstice was a little later and it's right. Solstice is about a month. But this is literally July 22nd to launch of Beyond Light. I can't this even is remember what, what did everything they do else for last moment of triumph. I, I don't even remember. I mean, it's what, what would we, we get do? the burgundy shirt for that one? Because I think we've both worn it at this point. Mm -hmm. um, oh, that's the joint way. Okay, yeah, that's the joint where we we get our crest. Yeah, moments and of triumph. Did do you all of this that did we you did? Beat this, this did you play the did campaign? That, yep. Did you play that? Uh, right, right, right. Didn't they introduce the EAZ with the last one? That was Solstice. That was Solstice. It, that was Solstice. Yeah, that was yeah. Solstice. God, I hope that comes back. The EAZ yeah. is such an underrated cool. like oh, area, I dude. It. Yeah, I liked it. They really have to stop taking stuff away. I know. I know. I I'm love that, dude. Like, can you imagine, like, a 12v12, like, on the Ooh, EAZ, dude? Oh, dude, that'd be fantastic. That'd be, that'd be so good. I think that was, we had this discussion last time, too. That would require mm -hmm. either next mm -hmm. gen or different engine, because yeah. 12v12 <laughs> 12 might break Destiny if you got, yeah. 60, like, 10 Nova Bombs flying back and forth at each other. <laughs> you might just shut down a PS. PS4 just mm -hmm. hears all that calculation going, it. it's just like, mm -hmm. shut it. Shout out to my I'm boy Ken. I didn't get to experience it. Yeah, it'll it'll come back. I think it'll come back. I think it'll come back. Hopefully yeah, it they don't cool screw the armor up. Like, mm -hmm. cause I mean, what was it? The the armor you grinded for wasn't even the one you kept oh. and wasn't even that great of stats and stuff. It was just like I still have it too. That grind hurts. Like that you grind go hurt. through all yeah. that and then it wasn't worth much anyway. So. I mean they brought it for mm -hmm. but then you couldn't even put uh a, one of the seasonal mods in it. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah and this in the the Armor 2.0 version, it had a very mediocre stat roll. Terrible stat roll. Yeah, I got them too. And it's they're some like, of my but best. it's a free. Be, it's like they're like, but it's your free set. I'm like, dude, I grinded my butt off for that one. But you better make that, it worthwhile. Yeah, that, that set they made us grind. Oh, oh that was. was I got it for all three because I wanted the yep. ship, which I still have on my hunter, which not a lot of people mm-hmm. probably have because mm-hmm. it was unique and I knew not a lot of people were going to have it. But man, that mm-hmm. was rough. Bro, and I think I even had to go sick. pretty hard towards the end too. Master working, it took a lot. Took a yeah. lot. Yeah, I master. I got my flames. I, man, my dawn blade was looking sick. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. Well, I, got. I was like, we've kept you for a while, so I don't want to keep yeah. you too long. I uh, gotta respect no, your good. time. So <laughs> um, you're like, dude, I can talk for all night long, and we 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 know. Believe me, we can talk forever, but we like to respect mm-hmm. your time too. So, um, probably can work on wrapping this thing up next week. At yeah, least man. we'll see two things. Apparently, Titan and moments. So we'll definitely have more to talk about next week. But man, dude, I'm glad we got you on. Like, it's yeah. been. A long, Dude. long, long time in the making. So I know it, I had a really good time hanging out with you guys tonight. It was Likewise. such a blast. Likewise, brother. Always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. Man. Yeah, right. man. Mm-hmm. Well, hmm. uh, I'm going to ask chat real quick. We got a couple people uh, to mm-hmm. raid. Actually, uh, when we wrap this thing up, we always got to do a little mm-hmm. wrap up first. But we got Gamma Trap artist mid miss noodle another awesome mm-hmm. artist and aries mm-hmm. who's playing right now as well so mm-hmm. got a couple people we'll have to send you guys to here in a second so if you got mm-hmm. any idea of of those three mm-hmm. got a very own aries mod and a couple others um mm-hmm. but yeah gamma, gamma. but uh before we go nim just for all the people who want to find you whether it's your awesome pictures your mm-hmm. you know your new music production you're going to be putting out some awesome new <laughs> dropping, <laughs> dropping some new singles out there there you uh, go. Let everybody know where they can find you, what, uh, what they can look for from you, anything you got coming in the future. This is your time. Uh, go, yeah. I mean, so with the limited time that I have nowadays, basically anything that I post is going to be over on my Twitter, um, which is uh, you know, just twitter.com slash nemplays. Uh, it's usually where I post like, most of my, my gaming clips or sometimes spicy takes. <laughs> um <laughs> Uh, definitely if, if, if you're a fan of like screenshots and stuff like that, I do have a public folder on my, on my bio Mm -hmm. with a bunch of like 2k resolutions, screenshots that you can use for like wallpapers, stream backgrounds, whatever you want. I usually try to update it every season with new stuff. Um, so, you know, you can keep an eye out on that. Um, I think I, depending, I'm not sure when this is going to happen, but I, We'll be on another podcast. Mm-hmm. Um, so if you guys want to, you know, tune into Absolutely. that. Absolutely, talk to us. Um, this is yeah, where you going? Where you, where you, where you going to be at? Oh, it's, it's in development yet. We still have the wrap. It's still... in development yet. I, okay. I'm not sure when, but mm-hmm. I am. I, it's safe to say. I'm mm-hmm. sure you guys have heard of it. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a fire team chat from uh, uh, IGN. Yeah. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Ooh, it's let's uh, go down. <laughs> yeah, so I'm pretty Let's excited. Go. Joining them. Let's go. Um, uh, they uh, they asked me on for an episode, so that's fantastic, man. That's fire. Pretty, pretty oh, stuff. My boy got caught to the big league. Let's go. He got <laughs> this his jersey. Be fun. Keep, oh, let's yeah. go. That's dope. Well, definitely, wow. guys. Make sure you go find that episode. Blow it up for this man, because mm-hmm. yeah, we're, we're fans of Fire Team Chat. We met Dustin Absolutely. and Fran yeah. and a couple mm-hmm. of those guys. Um, mm-hmm. That's Fran's awesome. Such a cool dude. Yeah, so that's yeah, so well, that's, that's fan- probably what I got going on in the near future. So, well, that's freaking that's fantastic. Fire. That's fine, yeah. bro. Let me tell you, the two most proud as a Destiny fan, the two most proudest things I would be probably be is DCP, <laughs> the, the little picture you guys got your little picture both of you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? FI teacher, oh that that's awesome, bro. That you you'd be, you'd make both, man. You'd be yeah, that'd, that'd be kind of cool. You you'd be a both both jerseys, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so to speak. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so it's, be dope, it's, it's really cool. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely check out for you on that big time. That's yeah. awesome. What about you, Cognito? What do you got coming up this weekend? Yeah, man. You already know. Um, I on podcast every Sunday, 1 p.m. Eastern is the Lord's Day. So, um, yeah, we will have uh my boy Hustle and Motivate. He will be in the building. Big Sony guy. So uh, we're gonna talk about what's going on with that. We'll talk about a lot of next gen console stuff. Game prices going up. That is definitely um. <laughs> big right now long we time coming because god knows they could be more expensive some people some people you know some they people feel are really just old 
Dude, N64 was $80. Talk to him, E. Talk to I'm him. Like, See, we come grow. from that. Like, Bro. everything's had inflation except yeah. games. Like Except games. Yeah, come on, and, these and, people yeah. are making, like, I mean, picture I, something. I just you. got done playing The Last of Us. That game mm-hmm. cost a hell of a lot more than $60. No <laughs> question in Bro. my mind. I know I'm with you, but there has been pushback. There's some people in my community who, you know, they're just, you know, very anti and it's going to be a good discussion on that. We'll talk about that. Time. In our so much time. And um, yeah, I, I, I agree, but we'll see. You, know, you, you can test. swing that flag for me. So I'll pass that to you. <laughs> Don't worry. I got you. Yeah. Like, but in we fairness, old. Old. we old. We got that. We old. Because <laughs> I remember them $100. I remember playing like $100 for Street Fighter 2. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. So that's where I come from. You know what I'm saying? So I'm used to those prices. And again, that price point being at $60 for such a long time, you know, and now next gen kind of hinting, hey, it's going to be a little higher. So. Please check out for that. Um, definitely. Uh oh, you in trouble? E. <laughs> That's fine. Okay. I was you're like, I'm not backing off that. Oh. Oh, oh God yeah, damn it. yeah, they got him. Let's go, y'all. It is fitness time with E. Here comes the subs. They have redeemed some sit-ups. I see some things. It's exercise time with E, y'all. Y'all know how we do. Let's get ready. <laughs> it's COVID time. We gotta work off the COVID pounds, man. Just what we do here. You know what I mean? So <laughs> now, as you can see. E is in perfect form this season. Here we go. Sit-ups are in. Look, look at that correct form. Look at the posture. Look at the elbows hitting the knee. This is premium content, y'all. This is what you get here at the last word. We're keeping you fit during the pandemic. My man E got you covered anytime you want. That's all you got is just those. We, we got we anything is under request. You better put them in now because you know. <laughs> <laughs> He's in pocket, y'all. The screen screen went dead. I'm trying to help y'all out, man. You got the test set us. We'll salute to y'all for getting my man E to work. He's got it popping right now. <laughs> but yeah, that's all I got as far as what I got pockets. That's it. As far as I as far as I got with ILP this Sunday, 1 p.m. Eastern, Lord Cognito on Twitter. And of course, again, thank you for supporting LordsofGaming.net. We really appreciate the support, man. Big time. And of course, my boy, if you're into statues, if you're into comic books and stuff like that, please check out my boy King David. He has King of the Statues, tremendous piece. We love it. And of course, once again, salute Nam for coming through the last word, the campfire. Always fun. Fellow warlocks. It was, it was always going to be love. I didn't Hell know yeah, when this dude. day was going to happen. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. But uh, E, what you got going on, man? Uh, for me, um, so let's see between now and next podcast. So I'm going to be on Karma's Revenge podcast Thursday night. Mm-hmm. So that's Thursday the 9th. Ooh, That'll be nice. an evening podcast. That'll be mm-hmm. kind of around the same time as this one. So check out theirs. I'll tweet where I'm going to be. Mm-hmm. Probably going to be working on Prophecy Solo potentially this weekend. Nice. Ooh. I just, yeah, Solo Fall. I soloed the cube room. Mm. And I oh figured, my God. Jesus, you're a beast. So that was the pff, random funny story. I was with my mm-hmm. brother. He had to like, he's like, hey, I got to go pick something up mm-hmm. for my wife. And I was like, and we're going through. And it's like, mm-hmm. hey, we got the checkpoint. Cool. And I'm sitting there and I'm like, eh, I'll work on it. And then it just starts mm-hmm. like coming together. And like two runs later, I'm like, he comes back. He's like, you're done. I was like, yeah, I got that part <laughs> knocked out. <laughs> Savage. I give you credit, man. So, That's insane. So That's that insane. part, if I got the cube room, which is the one kind of like, there's always one bonkers room in every dungeon. And I'm always yep, like, that one is bonkers. Died bro. way too much. And again, you can have some crappy RNG. I watched Fallout try it today. You can have some crap RNG in that room. But mm-hmm. like, I figured out where you like kind of got to be on your game and where you can yeah. completely slow it down and like, wait, take your time yeah, and kind of manage it. And it was like mm-hmm. the fact that I got that one, the h- other hard part's going to be leading into the boss. Yeah. Like the, the triangle room to go the into the boss. Room to go yeah. into the boss. But I will say, do not underestimate Xenophage in that entire dungeon. Oh, Xenophage yeah. is a monster. It is a monster. Dungeon. The Knights, three shots them. Uh, yep. The snipers up top, single. Nice. Xenophage, Mountaintop, and Gnawing Hunger yeah. is probably what I'm going to yeah. use for almost the whole damn run. Yeah, Xeno, Xeno's definitely beast in that. I guess where I worry for you is the triangle room where the boss the has pre-boss, each corner. The pre-boss yeah. corners, yep. That, and then you got to take away his, his positioning from one of them so that you can well, actually no, he's have on safe all, space. Yeah, he's on all three, and then as soon as yeah. you clear one, if it's basically then starting to clear the one. If you it's clear the one, then the you one. can work. Yeah. yeah, that part is hard. I mean, I give you credit, man. I, can, so, I mean, I'm get, it's that's potentially rough, something dude. I'm going to work mm-hmm. on. I've solo flawless the other two, so I got to do it. And it's <laughs> But before you do all that, 
I've got my Outbreak Perfected solo heroic <laughs> request that I'm putting in today. Yeah, I know. Because it you might go me. away and I need my catalyst. So, E, being that you get on solo <laughs> and stuff, <laughs> this is my formal request. <laughs> I need that damn Chat's catalyst. Chat's going to need like a report card afterwards. All right, guys, yes. did you knock it out? Did you get it done? How did he so do? I'll put, I'll put a little pressure on him. I need it, man. I'm so worried it's going to go away. I need that catalyst. I need my damn knights to be strong. I, I want this thing, man. I, and plus, you know what it is? They got the, I bought the ornament. The Osiris ornament that make oh, outbreak perfected all gold with the logo. Mm, Ooh, mm-hmm. I need this, Eve. I need this. So when you done your little prophecy thing, <laughs> don't don't forget me, man. This weekend, holla at your boy. Oh, I know. Oh, believe me, I can only do that so long. At some point, if you get some bad runs, I gotta. I'll yeah. go solo. For, and this is what I've done with everyone. I gotta do a solo run first. If I get mm-hmm. through each encounter by itself, then it's putting one together. But I can't tell you like Chamber of Suffering and Pit. Yeah. When I made it through that and died literally falling down the next section of my fir- one of my like third or fourth oh solo flawless, oh. I was like, that is like the dumbest death I've had. So I'm waiting for the ribbons to screw me again, but we'll see. Mm-hmm. <laughs> By the way, so mm-hmm. I, so I've soloed flaw, not I've soloed, I didn't do it flawlessly, but I soloed mm-hmm. Shattered Throne. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, and mm. I soloed Pit of Her- Heresy. Mm. But, but, Mm-hmm. It didn't count it what? because unlike Shattered Throne, mm-hmm. where you can leave, and yeah, come you can't back, leave Pit. You, can't, you yeah. cannot leave Pit. I, I learned I that the hard of, way. I did too. I have not gone back to do it solo because <laughs> <laughs> I, I had to. I, unfortunately, but I yeah. ran out of raid banners right before Zolmac, and I was like, "Okay, let me go get some. Mm, come back that and knock this out." And I spent that about sucked. like a solid like two and a half hours Damn. trying to like take down Zolmac. Oh, and I that spent sucks. an ungodly amount of time in the Chamber of Suffering. Yeah, that's painful. Mm. And then Ooh. when I finished it and I didn't get the triumph, <sighs> oh. I was like, bro, I don't wish that on nobody. Mm-mm. That sucks. Like, that's pain. What just happened? Yeah. Yeah. That hurts. Uh, and then I learned that you can't do that. So yeah. I haven't done it since. Yeah, I, don't I was like, "Fuck it," you know. I was like, "I was like, fuck it, I did it." And you're like, yep, "I did I it. know I did it. Yeah, I don't have yep. to prove it to anybody." <laughs> <laughs> I'll feel you on that. Dude. Yeah, yeah that so it's rough, dude. But yeah. I, I, I still loaded it as a void walker, so I was pretty. Mm-hmm. I, I didn't oh, need nice. the well of radiance. Yeah, I didn't need wait, the well wait, of radiance for you that. Ran, you ran, you ran bottom tree boy. I ran bottom tree boy. Yeah, you got that. Yeah, yeah, there's that Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. You know what's my new joint though? Shout out to Aries though. I have fallen back in love with Karnstein Armulet. Really? Oh, let me tell you, that synergizes so well. We do a little void lock. Keep keep quiet for a second. Um, <laughs> bro, if you run that with Devour, right? Mm-hmm. Because remember, you're going to get help. It, basically, it's my staying alive build. Yeah. Because all you got to do is just slap somebody. And then it, you get a constant regeneration. Like, if you get hit, it goes back up. It hit, it goes back up. So you oh. proc that with Devour and a bro, you can stay alive. You don't have to necessarily crutch on Well of Radiant Solar all the time with yeah. that void build. I'm telling you, man. I I, I was watching Aries. You don't run to Aries. If he's in the chat, I yeah. was watching him solo um, what you call it? He was running armulets during a, a lot of the section of the prophecy raid. And I'm telling you, that that keeps you alive, man. It really does. That's a really guy good. He completely forgot about Karnstein. So like mm-hmm. what I used. Mm-hmm. And this might surprise you a little bit. Mm-hmm. I ran uh, at the time, obviously, as a Nagi for mm-hmm. for the for the knights. Of course, um, of course. Optative Ooh. as as my energy. Okay. For the, okay. the the uh, the hand mm-hmm. cannon from Season of Undying mm-hmm. and Hammerhead for the for the boomers. Of course. Um, but my exotic mm. my exotic was Verity's brow. Really? Yeah. That's because the one that gives you grenade energy. What does it do again? I forget. It's gr- it's grenade energy on energy weapon kills. Yes, yes. So that's what was, uh, that's why I ran the hand cannon as my energy weapon. Um, and it, I ran the optative just because like there was more coming at me, right? And it was it was a little bit faster. So because the the one that I had was um, kill clip and outlaw. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I was constantly getting a damage buff, constantly mm-hmm. getting my devour up. Nice. And if I missed one, I would just consume another grenade because I constantly had that regen of grenades, grenades coming coming right. in. 
Yeah, because it synergizes well with like, because as yes. as it is, you get grenade energy back when you kill yes. when you have devour active. So oh, if yeah. you get if you just stack that with Verity's brow, it's I like get you it. always have a grenade. Grenade. Yep, I get it now. And that's that's devour, that's the heal. I get you. I see. I see the yeah. vision. Well, that's, okay. that, that's how I managed to get through that one. Nice. nice. Yeah, Bro. apparently I'm in for like bashing my head against the wall for an entire weekend. So there's that. <laughs> that's that's what I get to look forward to on my Fourth of July weekend. So all good, all good, man. Well, Sorry, see, bud. no, no, that's I do it to myself. I mean, I've played since Bloodborne came out. I mean, I played OG Mega Man two and three. Uh-huh. Uh huh. So I mean, pain. painful games are part of me growing up and just persistence to get through it. Mm -hmm. I hadn't played a Souls until Bloodborne came out. And then that has hooked me, and I played every single one, like Mortal Soul. I've seen that beta coming out, and still waiting to get my hands on that. But yeah, we got what, shout out like Elden Ring, and then man, like the Demon Souls remake. Oh, dude, I can't freaking wait for those. So yeah, stupidly dude. painful stuff. Apparently, is like um, what is it? Sadist would be the right term. Um, masochist. Is masochist yeah. to you? Yeah. <laughs> Sad <laughs> sadist is the one doing it to you. So mm -hmm. um, yeah, so oh, yeah. masochist um apparently so i don't know but it's just it's the fun challenge because now that i've run it more a couple times i'm getting more comfortable when you when i feel like and actually like when i got to the point where i made my whisper guide or anything when i know it that well mm -hmm. i love that feeling of like all right here here nail yeah, this one yeah, go yeah. over here go 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 mm -hmm. like when you mm -hmm. get to that level i love that feeling of that, like understanding it that well so oh, yeah, that's why i like the pve stuff like pvp i'm okay but when pve stuff like when it clicks, man, I love being like that skilled and being able to like take anybody through it too. So yeah, absolutely, dude. Yeah. Bloodborne. You mentioned Bloodborne, and I I don't say this lightly about a gig, a video game ever. But if I could erase a game from my memory <laughs> to re-experience it oh. all over again, a hundred percent, it would be Bloodborne nice. without skipping a beat. Nice. That's a damn good choice. There's that's my first. If that's mm -hmm. what set me that on the was path. my first two. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, was my I played first that Souls. one first and then Dark Souls 3. Yep. Wow. Yeah, both of those so and then Fallen Order. I played both Neos. I just finished Neo 2 not that long ago, which was really good. Um, love those. Like, the, it's one of those when it's programmed well, like, mm -hmm. if you screw up, it's your fault. That's you. It's on <laughs> it's you. On yeah. you it's on you. you. Like, people can go through a flawless entire game run, and you're like, all right, if they can do that, and I've got full armor on, and they're running around with, like, a, a loincloth and doing this stuff, mm -hmm. probably on me. That's, That's literally how I beat, like, I had to beat the Pontiff. Pontiff Sullivan mm -hmm. on in, in Dark Souls 3. Bro, like, I had to get every, like, buff, like, available to me. So... Like the the trick that I I came to learn about the Pontiff is you can force him mm. into doing a specific attack. Mm. So for the first half of his health, you can force him to do this lunge attack. That if you learn properly, mm. you can parry it every time. In order to do that, is when the the moment the fight starts, you run towards Pontiff, mm. get that first parry. That is important. Mm. You get that first parry. And then you just keep running. You got to get distance from it because that mm. will reset. It resets his attack pattern. Mm. So if you come back to him, he's going to do that same exact nice. lunge attack that allows you to parry him. Nice. So with four parries, you're able to get them down to like slightly under half health, mm. which triggers phase two. Nice. And oh my God, it's just that's the sensations when you like kill a boss that's been kicking yes. your ass for like days and oh. weeks is so good Satisfying. in those games, dude. Mm -hmm. So oh. the final fight in Sekiro. Mm -hmm. Oh, that looks brutal, dude. That's that. a three or four phase fight. I think it's a three phase fight. Mm -hmm. God, that's long. That game, and that's kind of the thing. If people picked up Sekiro for the first time versus so used to playing a Dark Souls or a Bloodborne dodging technique, mm -hmm. learning to have to break myself to learn to parry, that was one Mental. of the hardest things. But when it finally got there, it was really cool. So. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to get off on tangent and talk for another hour about this. So. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, so every time we wrap up a podcast, I'm always going to kind of give like the outro info and then we're going to say it has been. And then all together we try and say the last word. So I'm not okay. going to say it first. I wait on you guys because I try and match it. But editing later, I can fix it. So you guys have been awesome. We're going to go raid Aries. Watch this man play Ooh. trials. He's damn Holly good. Mod. So enjoy Holly Mod. Uh, but thank you guys for hanging out. Episode 110. Thank you, Nim Plays. It has been a pleasure having you here. Don't end your thank recordings you yet, me. by the way. Just FYI. Keep those going. Uh, mm -hmm. But yeah, seriously, it's been a pleasure. Glad we made it happen. Time and everything. 
We're going to let Cognito go to sleep. So for this episode, July 3rd, 110, it has been The, the last, last Word. word.